netting just eight goals in dropping four of their last five games. That's an average of 1.6 goals a game. But again, the Wings are so tough defensively, and they're very, very good on the road, coming in with that 21-6-6 six six record. So it should be an outstanding matchup tonight. The referee is Blaine Angus, the same man who officiated last night's Roadrunners Denver game. The linesman Bill Boyce and Steve Kaskar. At center right, Janik Pearl against Mike Needham on the draw. Here's the drop of the puck. And tonight's hockey game is underway. The runner, Brian Chapman, plays it off the face-off, dumps the puck in behind the Kalamazoo net. Back to get it for the wing is the big defenseman, Richard Matvichuk, just reassigned from the parent Dallas Stars about a week ago. And he was a questionable for tonight's game with a three-game injury, but he's in the lineup. And puck now cleared to center right, and the roadrunner, Brian Chapman, shoots it in behind the Kalamazoo net. Matt Pachuk back to get it. Matt Pachuk, the former number one draft pick of the Dallas Stars, sends it out to the Kalamazoo line. Tipped ahead now to Mark Lawrence. Left wing pass for Mike Needham. Needham going in on the Roadrunners' left wing. Had it knocked away by Yannick Perot. Puck tipped behind the Phoenix goal. Picked off by Brian Straub. Ahead to Nedimanski. Nedimanski right wing pass for Rob Brown, the former Kalamazoo wing. Brown, he couldn't play the pass. Matt Machuk knocks it away. Now stolen by Nedimanski. His centering pass is tipped ahead, and the wings come back two on two. On the right side, coming over the line, is Mark Peterson. Drops it off along the right side to Neil Brady. Brady had it knocked away. Now it's tipped in behind the runner's net. Going after in the left corner is Peterson. He's tied up there by the roadrunner, Dan Bilesma. Puck goes to the left point. Jason Herter keeps it in. He's shot just wide. Rebound along the near board. Cleared by Brian Straub. Up the left side and out of the zone. Travis Richards plays it there. Now tipped to center right and kicked off by the K-wing, Grant Marshall. Marshall goes back into his own end. Drops it on the near side. Now to Travis Richards, the former U.S. Olympian. Richards sends it to the Roadrunners line where Rob Cowie intercepts. Cowie in his first game back from Los Angeles last night had two assists in that Roadrunners game against Denver. Now Cowie sends on the right side to Steve Wilson. He runs into Marshall at center right, and the puck is separated. It goes back into the Kalamazoo zone. Just about two minutes gone in the hockey game. No score from the Coliseum. Roadrunners against the Northern Division leading Kalamazoo wing. In behind the runner's net to collect the puck is Steve Wilson. Runs along the near boards and he's checked by the former roadrunner Pat Murray. Puck knocked away and it's cleared the length of the ice by Phoenix. Back to get it behind the Kalamazoo net is defenseman Shane Peacock. And if he makes a touch, we'll get icing on the roadrunners. And we'll come back to the zone to our right with a faceoff in front of Byron Defoe. And Bob, as you mentioned, this uh, K-Wing team will play close to the best. They don't take a lot of chances. They don't score a lot of goals, but they are a quality defensive team. And you're going to have to do some things against this team to uh, get the puck past uh, their goaltenders. They have uh, probably the best duo of goaltenders in the IHL. Both of their goalies in the top 10 in uh, goals against, save percentage. And uh, so I look for the Roadrunners to try and do a few different things, maybe a little bit more dump and chase tonight. Off the faceoff, shot from the right point by Kalamazoo's Shane Peacock, deflects off his skate, played on the far side and cleared out by the runner's Brian Straw. Again, Phoenix operating with just five defensemen tonight after the injury to Snell last night, and also Brian McKee out of the lineup with a knee injury. After a brief rush into the Kalamazoo end, the wings clear the puck to center. Runners bring it right back over the line as Eric Levine sends into the left corner. Trying to play it, Jeff Chevalier tied up in the left corner by wings defenseman Dennis Smith. Coming in to help out, Devin Edgerton for Phoenix. Edgerton spins away behind the net. by the center in front. Nobody there for Phoenix. And it's picked off by the wings. And up the ice comes Robin Bauer. Bauer standing on the left side. Trying to find Derek Smith. He made his way to the net, but he was cut off effectively. And the puck is stripped. And back come the roadrunners. Brian Straub rushes up the left wing. Straub goes behind the Kalamazoo net. Alan Bauer chasing. Now Straub hits Chevalier to the right of the goal. He goes behind the net into the left corner. Spins to get away from Matt Pachuk. And the puck now tipped to Yannick Perot. Perot centers in front. Gets out of the reach of Nedimanski. Shot from the right point. By Straub is blocked. And back come the wings. Mark Lawrence. Lawrence moving on the right side. Hit it. Poke checked away. at center ice by Brian Straub of Phoenix. Loose puck played by Yannick Perot. Perot comes in over the Kalamazoo line. Had it knocked away. And the wings get it to come back. Mike Needham gets to center ice. Sends one on a hop to the right of Defoe. Wide into the left corner. Playing it there for the runners is Brian Chapman. He hits Perot at center ice. Right wing pass off the board to Bilesma. In over the Kalamazoo line they come. Bilesma to Nedimanski. Sends it behind the net for Bilesma, but he's well covered by Travis Richards. And the puck is intercepted and the wings come back. Then ahead by Kalamazoo's Mark Peterson into the runner's right corner. 
Chapman collides with the inboard, falls down, puck turned over to the wing. In the high spot, Richards with it, moves to the left of the net. Still has it, goes behind the net, trying to center it out in front. Good play by Janik Perot to steal. And Kalamazoo's Travis Richards did not get the shot off as Defoe was scrambling to get back in the goal after he went down to the left of the net. Runners trying to get in over the Kalamazoo line, but they do so offside. And we get the stoppage offside against Phoenix with 15.43. Left in the first period, we have a scoreless hockey game. And it's not often bothered to think of yet Bajanic Perot being a defensive stalwart, but there he stole the puck and uh, alleviated some of the pressure that was in the Roadrunners' end. Of course, last night, Perot set a new Roadrunner record with two goals. He now has 51 on the season, and I believe he needs uh, three points to... Uh, is it three points to tie another Roadrunner's Roadrunner record, if I'm not mistaken? No, he needs three for 100, and the Roadrunner's record is 109, set by Bruce Boudreaux back in 1989-90. So he's certainly without, well within range of that record, but he needs three for 100. And Robbie Brown is right there on the doorstep, too, with 92 points. And, of course, Robbie Brown, this is the, the team he played for last year. He set an IHL record with 155 points last year, playing with the K-Wings. Behind the Kalamazoo bench, veteran Ken Hitchcock, of course, very close to Rob Brown. He coached Brownie and Junior, Kamloops Blazers of the Western Hockey League, and Rob Brown will say that Ken Hitchcock has been a very big influence on him, both on and off the ice, throughout his career. Over the line now come the wings. Buck knocked away by Rob Brown as he steals for the Roadrunners. Played on the near side and cleared by Eric Levine back into the Kalamazoo zone. James Hitchcock to play it. Ahead now to Scott McCorry. McCoy for Kalamazoo. Heads up the right wing. Gets to the Phoenix line. Dumps it into the right corner. No pressure as Levine goes back to get it. Now coming late is Derek Smith. Levine stops. Hits Tomlinson with a pass. Tomlinson's uh, three-out attempt goes off of Mark Lawrence. Puck played right at the Roadrunners line by Derek Smith. And dumped into the right corner. Played there by Levine, but he can't clear. Intercepted. Quick shot by Colin Bauer from the right circle. Byron Defoe makes the save. Rebound. Loose in the high slot. Tipped away by Rob Brown to Tomlinson. Back to Robbie Brown. Here's Brown on the right side, one-on-one -on -one against Bauer. Comes in over the line, takes the shot wide to the right of Porkia. Buck loose along the near board, cleared by Kalamazoo Lawrence. Kept in at the left point by Chapman. Now to Edgerton, centers one for Brown. Intercepted by the wings, and they'll clear it out. And back in his own end to get it is Devin Edgerton for Phoenix. Just over 14 minutes left, first period, no score. Each team with one official shot on goal as the runners dump the puck into the Kalamazoo end, but... It's quickly cleared by the goaltender Torque here around the left boards and out the length of the ice. Racing back to get it is Gary Tuchuk. Tuchuk then runs into a Kalamazoo player on the near side. That was Grant Marshall. Puck separated. Then shot back into the runner's end. Now Chevalier will clear it out to center. Again, the wings play it. Jason Herter up to center right to Grant Marshall. He's taken down by Chapman on a hip check. Puck turned over to Edgerton. Edgerton on the left wing, gets in over the line. He's taken to the ice. Now, center, he passes to Molly. He scores! <laughs> Devin Edgerton was taken down, and as he was going to the ice, that puck was able to be centered in front. And Jeff Chevalier racing to the net, got there right when the puck did. And he popped it by Torquay, I believe. Chevalier will get... Better for the goal, a real bang-bang play, as they say. Edgerton taken down, but he was able to send that puck into the slot, and the Roadrunners take the one nothing lead, 6.25 into the hockey game. Bob, I'll tell you what, you cannot, you cannot ask for a better effort than Devin Edgerton just gave you. Falling down, he centers the puck, gets it in front of Jeff Chevalier. We outlined this line last night, the line of uh, Edgerton. Two chuck. I tell you what, the line just adds so many different elements of uh, hockey to it. You have the grip, you have the size, and of course Chevalier on that line as well. And they just continue to click, and it's been an excellent second line for this team, and they are clicking and scoring goals, and that makes the team a whole lot more dangerous. So Jeff Chevalier gets his 22nd goal of the year, his third in two nights. Devin Edgerton, the lone assist at 625, one nothing Phoenix. Kalamazoo now trying to pressure in behind the Roadrunners net as they return to live action. And referee Blaine Angus blows the play dead as they jam it up against the end board. I thought he made that pass Edgerton did while down. He was being spun around. Looked like there might be a penalty called on the play. No penalty. He still had enough to get that puck in front of the net. 
And, and a coach will always tell you, anytime, you know, always throw the puck in front of the net. Always get the puck in front of the net because that's where things happen. That's where offensive situations are created. And Edgerton going down, being pulled down, still managed to get that puck in front of the net. And Chevalier was right there to uh, bang it by uh, the goaltender Torquia. And I'll tell you, that was a great goal by the Roadrunners. And Devin Edgerton has really played well since he was benched earlier in the season. I think he got the message, and he has been a spot plug for this hockey team. Devin Edgerton now has two goals and seven assists for nine points in his last nine games uh, after sitting out six straight. So he has really come to life, both offensively and defensively, since getting back in the lineup. And Jeff Chevalier, who scored just a minute 44 seconds in the last night's game, gets the first goal again here tonight at 625. Runners in the lead, 1-0. And that line is out there again. Edgerton, Chuck and Chevalier, and they're calling it offside at the Kalamazoo Blue Line as uh, Chevalier coming away, played the puck and brought it into the zone. But the uh, line has been waving down offside. Yeah, Chuchuk was uh, just one foot offside as he stepped off Chevalier, sped right into the zone and in the middle of the K-Wings uh, ice just opened up like the Red Sea. Chevalier had a clear path to the net, but uh, one foot across Gary Chuchuk who uh, tried to get onside but just couldn't do it. And now back on Tomlinson and Biles are out on the ice. Facing off against the K-Wing, Peterson, Brady, and Grant Marshall. Buck goes back into the runner's end off the draw. Buck can play, uh, control, I should say, by Eric Levine. Sending it ahead. Too far for Vachon. Tipped by the wing's defense into the runner's end. Mark Peterson going after. Spinners in front for Neil Brady. Knocked away. And the puck played along the near board. Now from the right board. Shot by Jason Herter. Tipped in front. Rebound right on. Saved by Defoe. And he blocks the rebound into the right corner. Brady gets it back for Kalamazoo. Takes the shot. Hit the goal post, it looks like. And the puck is cleared. And the Roadrunner is able to get it out. Neil Brady with a great chance on that rebound from the right circle. And the puck now sent into the Kalamazoo end. Back down along the near board. Tipped it for a trailing collie. He shoots it. Goal! Torquia just shrugs his shoulders and holds out his arms. He never saw it. There were three bodies in front of him. I think two wings and one roadrunner, and that roadrunner was Dan Bilesma, and the blast by Cowie finds its way past a screen Torquia, and the roadrunners now lead it two to nothing. And Bob, you hit it right on the head. Dan Bilesma with the, with the perfect screen on Torquia, the pass by Vashon over to a... Uh, and ill, Rob Cowie, who last night was uh, feeling the effects of the flu. But I'll tell you what, there was the only effect on that shot was a laser beam as he fired that one right by Torquia's left shoulder, right over it. Torquia never saw it because of the great screen by Dan Bowser and the regular putting some people in front of the net. And Yannick Perot right off the face off at a chance for his 52nd goal of the year. And he rifled it high over the glove of Torquia off the end glass. On the near boards now, they Puck played by the wings, and they'll get it out. And stolen by Hero at center right. Tapped the head, and Peacock clears it. Puck bounces right on net. Byron Defoe scoops it up. And we'll also see a flashing penalty behind the play. A flashing penalty behind the play on Kalamazoo. So the Roadrunners are going to have the power play. They lead it 2-0. We're going to take a break. 11.32 to go. First period. Two zip runners, and they're going up by a man. We'll be back after these words. London. Paris. How far is the Arizona Lottery willing to go to get you to play Fantasy Five four nights a week? How does a free fantasy vacation sound? To qualify, purchase a four-draw ticket by February 17th. See details in store. Fantasy Five from the Arizona Lottery, going to the ends of the earth for you. Congratulations to Louis Vega of Chandler. Watch Channel 3 for more vacation winners to be announced. Arizona Lottery. The penalty is on Kalamazoo defenseman James Peacock for slashing at 8.28. Roadrunners broke out of a 3-for-28 power play slump last night, going 2-for-4 against Denver. Yannick Perot getting his big lady 19th power play goal, and uh, also Jeff Chevalier scoring on the power play. Kalamazoo coming into the game, ranking third in the league in penalty killing, 82.8%. That drops off quite a bit on the road. They go down to 77.9, which is no better than 13th in the league. See what the runners do here. After a brief rush into the Kalamazoo end, the runners' uh, progress is stopped, and back come the wing shorthanded. Little backhand shot just goes wide to the left of the net by Derek Smith, and the puck there around the near board. Up the ice now comes Tomlinson. 
And he'll drop it to Rob Brown. Brown over the line. Gives it to Yannick Perot as he gets into the Kalamazoo zone. Cross ice, right point. Tony the shot. Save Torquia. Rebound loose in the slot. And kicks off by the wings. And Robin Bowers will clear it down the right side, the length of the ice. Bowers leaves his Kalamazoo team in short-handed goals with three. Runners come right back on the attack, but have it knocked away at the wings' blue line. And the puck cleared deep into the Roadrunners' zone. He also leads him in penalty minutes, too, with 151. Minutes to go in the penalty on James Peacock. Ten and a half left first period, 2 nothing Roadrunners. They're skating on the power play, trying to add to that. Up shot into the Kalamazoo left corner by Brian Chapman. Back to get it for the wings is Dennis Smith. Slips it along the near side and out of the zone, and Chapman has to regroup and get it. Back at his own line for Phoenix. He'll give it to Steve Wilson. Wilson gets token pressure from Mike Needham. Now sends it near side to Chapman. Chapman retreats behind the runner's net. It's the Phoenix club has to regroup and start up on the power play. 25 seconds left in the Peacock penalty. Pass ahead on the left side over the Kalamazoo line to Chuchuk. Had it poke checked away. And Chuchuk must go back to center to play. Looks on the right wing to Rob Brown as they go back into the Kalamazoo end. Left wing pass for Wilson. Intercepted by Grant Marshall of the wing. Marshall will clear it. And that'll almost do it on the penalty to Peacock. Runners come back real quick, however. Three seconds left in the penalty. Phoenix cannot get a shot off. Along the left boards in the Kalamazoo zone, and now the wings are back to full strength. Up the left side, come Kalamazoo on the rush. Shot just wide to the goal mouth by Kalamazoo veteran Derek Smith. Rebound in the far side. Played by the roadrunner Gary Chuchuk. He can't get it out. Smith keeps it in, takes the shot. Saved by the and the rebound swept away on the doorstep by Devin Edgerton. And the Roadrunners now able to get it out as Edgerton sends to Chevalier, who dumps the puck into the Kalamazoo left corner. Back to get it for the wing. Matt Pachuk. Now sent on the left side. Racing after it for the Roadrunners. Brian Saw, he out races the Kalamazoo player Peterson for it. And the runner is able to clear it out. Ryan McReynolds over the line. Lost control. Bashan sends in now behind the Kalamazoo net. Cleared by Matt Pachuk along the far board. Not out. Held in by Vashon. Now Nicholas's pass is knocked away and played by Mark Peterson. Peterson can't get it out. Kept in right point by the Roadrunners' McReynolds. Now right circle to Vashon. He's tied up by Neil Brady of Kalamazoo. Meanwhile, we're down to 8.25 left in the period. Fox first three played in the wing's right corner by Matt Pachuk. He sends it off the right board. It'll fly down the right wing side, the length of the ice. They'll get icing once again on Kalamazoo. As Brian Straub goes back to touch it, and we'll take a timeout. Two to nothing, Roadrunners. 8:14 to go, first period. We'll be right back after these words. Hi, I'm Tim Waters, player and assistant coach for the Phoenix Roadrunners. After 13 years as a pro hockey player, I know that good health care is essential. The Roadrunner players know that they receive the best care possible from the team dentist, Doctors Larry Emmett and Ron Fawaldi at Dental Associates. They provide complete dentistry, featuring the most up-to-date methods of reconstruction and cosmetic treatment. The doctors and staff are always available when we need them. I would recommend them to anyone. If they can keep a veteran hockey player like me smiling, imagine what they can do for you. Dental Associates, 279-1641. Off the draw on the Kalamazoo end, shot by Cowie from the right point. Six save for him. Rebound played behind the wing set by Bauer. Now it's loose along the near boards. Zanimanski able to keep it alive to Rob Brown. Brown behind the goal to Yannick Perot. Back to Brown. Fan from the left circle. Brown gets it back. Fan again. Torquia playing the loose puck now, and he'll clear it end over end out of the zone. Back to the Roadrunner's blue line. Bob Cowie to play it there. Now he turns it over. Quick shot, but it's blocked by Steve Wilson. And the flex out of play. Cowie turned it over to Jeff Best. But Wilson was fortunately there for Phoenix to block Bess's shot. And Bess had Robin Bawa all open. All, all of, uh, of, he was wide open is what I meant to say. A little stuffed up here tonight, Bob. And he said Bess just took the firing slap shot with the screen in front of him. Should have passed that puck over to Bawa, who was, uh, there wasn't anybody near him to the left. And uh, he was wide open to the net. But that was an ill-advised shot by Bess. Bob, my nose is a little stuffed. I'm going to have to take one of those medical tips tonight. You got any medical tips for uh, stuffy noses? No, unfortunately, they're all for exercising and uh, physical activity. I can't do anything with the nose, then. No. See, no, nothing under my chair, either. I was going to get a movie certificate. Off the face-off, buck cleared by the Roadrunner to link to the ice. Back to get it, Matt Pachuk, deep in the wing's right corner. Seven and a half minutes left, first period. Runners in the lead, 2 nothing. On early goals by Chevalier and Cowie, both in the first 8.04 of the game, and coming just uh, 
under two minutes apart. Wings Matt the up, sends right side of center right to Needham. Mike Needham hits Derek Smith with the pass. Here's Smith moving in on the right side. With him step for step is Levine. He gets the pass off to Needham. Needham shot from the right circle is wide. Rebound along the left forwards. Another shot right on. Turned away by Defoe. Now in the slot. Gets off the end of Needham six. Played along the near boards as the wings continue to pressure. Roadrunner is able to play the puck briefly. And now it is chipped out on the near side by Levine. Goes out of play. And we get the stoppage. Let's take a look at tonight's Blue Cross Blue Shield of Arizona. Injury report out of the lineup for the Roadrunners. Their remaining three players with shoulder injuries. Jim V.C., Keith Redman, and Barry Potomsky. Also, Chris Snell joined that injury list with the hyperextended elbow last night. Brian McKee's out with a knee injury. Molly Ox rehabbing from finger surgery. And Randy Pierce still in his rehabilitation process from preseason major knee surgery. Remember, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Arizona features individuals and group health care coverages. We'll give you the Kalamazoo scratches also. Gilbert Delorme, Brad Berry, Dave Barr, all out with injuries for the Wings and other scratches. Jeff McLean, I beg your pardon, he's also out with an injury. Dean Federchuk, Yarko Varvio, and Herb Ragland, the other scratches for the Kalamazoo Wings. Off the faceoff down, the runners in. Two players go down. Penalty coming up on Phoenix. It'll be on Bagshon for knocking down Peterson. And the puck is touched by the Roadrunners. Dan Bilesman will get the whistle. Referee Blaine Angus is going to send Nicholas Bashan to the box for tripping. And Bashan made sure he got his money's worth. After he tripped up Mark Peterson and the penalty was called, Peterson tried to get up and uh, Bashan backhanded him and knocked him right back, back down to the ice again. So, hey, if you're going to get two, you may as well take uh, as much liberty as you can within reason, of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. That was a good backhand. Did you see that? Nice little back get back down there, you uh, run. Power play for Kalamazoo. The wing first of the game. Kazoo is 19.3 uh, on the power play this year, which is ninth in the league. Roadrunners have done an outstanding job penalty killing of late. They've killed 14 of 16 shorthanded situations in the last three games and 31 of their last 34. We'll see what happens here. Wings on the power play. Shot by Peacock from the line just wide. Rebound behind the net. Played by Kalamazoo. Centered out in front. Saves the throw as Neil Brady tried to center it through the crease and get a deflection on net, but the throw was able to grab it and hold on. Oh, what a save by Defoe. Brady with the pass in front. Looks like Peterson got the shot there, and Defoe right down to the knees. Make sure he leaves that five hole open, and he stuffed that puck right underneath his pad. I'll tell you what, Byron Defoe looks like he's real happy to be back in and playing. He's been inactive for a while, and he just looks kind of fidgety, and, and he's moving real well. And that was a tremendous save. He had to slide all the way over to his right to stop that puck, and that was a really, really nice save, and uh, probably the best one he's made so far in this game. Byron Defoe, while with Washington, played in three games. He had a 1-1-1 one, one, and one record, a 3.59 goals against average, and an 861 save percentage. Off the faceoff, buck and pull by Kalamazoo. Brady with it again. Now 10 cross ice. Left point. Shot by Matt Pachuk. Saved the throw and he slotted the rebound. Out of play. And we get the stoppage. Byron Defoe with another good save. And as that puck jumped in the air, he swung his stick and slotted the rebound into the stand. Oh, that'll be, uh, to bring back the remembrances of Billy Smith used to do that so well, swatting that puck away with the stick. And Byron Defoe once again with the big save. And you know, one thing he brings is a certain element of flair. You know, he's got that, that just that touch that you like to see. I don't know uh, what you want to call it. I'll call it a flair. And, you know, he's an exciting player to watch. And he moves around. He, he's got great vibrations. And uh, he's a fun goalie to watch. And, you know, he beat the best this year up in Washington. And not too many, not too many teams or goaltenders can say they did that. So that's quite an accomplishment when he was up to the captain. One, one, and one to the captain. It's actually pretty good, Bob. There's three, ten, and three coming into today's action. Wings win the draw, go to work again on the power play. Peacock with it. Then to the left point now, in the thought to Bauer. Quick shot by Derek Smith right on, saved the foe. Rebound held in at the line by Matt Pachuk. Knocked away by McReynolds, but a good recovery by Matt Pachuk to steal McReynolds' attempted pass for Bilesman. Wings dump it back in the roadrunner's end, intercepted there and cleared by Brian Straw the length of the ice. Matt Pachuk is quite a player, a very high draft pick for the Dallas Stars. Halfway through the penalty on Bashan. The Wings come up the ice again on the power play. Here's Matt Pachuk over the line. Matt Pachuk getting in deep to the Roadrunners' left corner. Given a rough ride by Wilson against the far board. 
Buck winds around to the near point, kept in by Herder. Sent behind the net to Robin Bauer. He's cracked by Wilson. Wilson, by the way, is a former Kalamazoo wing. At the left point, Matricek, the shot, saves the ball. Meanwhile, Robin Bauer, I believe, is down on top of the ball. They're tangled up here as the puck is cleared the length of the ice. Now they finally get untangled. Rob Cowley there trying to tie up Bauer, and then Bauer knocks Cowley in the back of the head. They are screaming for a penalty, none called. Meanwhile, the wings have to wait because Bauer's in the Roadrunner's zone. If they bring that puck over the line, it's offside. And the wings now will attempt to get in with only eight seconds left in the penalty. And now Herder circles back to center. Finally, he just rifles it in behind the net. The foe doesn't stop it. Right along the left board. Now tapped behind the net. Kicked off by the K-wing. And it's sent by Mark Lawrence. Toward the line, knocked away, and back on, jumps out of the penalty box, and is able to tip it into the Kalamazoo end. And back to get it for the wings is Colin Bauer. He's there to touch it ahead of Rob Brown, so says uh, the linesman on the far side, and it's all icing against the roadrunner. Wow, that was a bad call. Robbie Brown definitely had the touch first. Back on the other end, you know, I, what was Blaine Angus waiting for? To, to call something now on Bauer. All he was doing was just really sitting on the bow and I guess telling him about, uh, I don't know, what he did today in Phoenix and maybe the things he bought at the shop. It was about, uh, I don't know, 45 seconds he just hung out down there with the bow. And Angus was just standing over the play, Bob. He never even decided to call anything. He could have called, I don't know, delay a game or something like that, but he let it go. And the touch by Robbie Brown, he definitely beat that icing call, and that was uh, missed as well. Got to point out those indiscretions now. Now the wings get pressure on the power play, but do not score. In fact, they've outshot the Roadrunners 10 to 5 in this first period. But it's a 2 0 Phoenix lead with 4.20 left. Off the faceoff, quick shot on goal by the uh, K Wing Grant Marshall and a nice stick save by Byron Defoe. Rebound clear to center ice. Alan Bauer shoots it back in from the right side for Kalamazoo. Played behind the runner set by Chapman. Round around the far boards to Rob Brown. Brown sends it ahead just past the outstretched stick of Yannick Perot. Played by Marshall in the Kalamazoo end to Colin Bauer. Bauer sends it off the left side. It's tipped ahead to center ice right to Mark Lawrence. Uh, beg your pardon, Pat Murray. Murray right side to Jeff Best. Best drops it off to defenseman Dennis Smith. He shoots it in behind the runner's net. Played in the left corner. Now pass to Colin Bauer. Bauer from the left circle. Takes a shot. Byron Defoe the save. Rebound cleared by the runners. And they're able to get it out. Tomlinson sending it to the Kalamazoo line. Intercepted there with a wing Bauer, and he'll shoot it slowly into the Roadrunners' high slot as Kalamazoo completes his line team. Puck tip behind the Phoenix net. Battle for it there. Now coming away with it, Yannick Perot for the Roadrunners. Right side to Nicholas Bagshaw. He overskates it at center right. Perot from behind, able to play it. Pete Brown, high slot shooting. Just wide to the left of the Kalamazoo net. Downey gets back up, plays in the left circle, but he turns it over to McCrory of Kalamazoo. Now it goes to Mark Lawrence, and he'll send it off the left board into the Roadrunner zone. Three minutes exactly left in the period. On the near side now, they off this play by the Roadrunners. They're trying to get it out. Mike Needham trying to keep it in for Kalamazoo. Also right there is Robin Bauer, two former Kamloops Blazers, and they puck cleared by the Roadrunners. Finally, up to another Kamloops alum, Rob Brown of Phoenix. He shoots the puck into the Kalamazoo end. Now a centering pass from the right corner. By the Roadrunners, Ryan McReynolds, that's intercepted, and the wing's able to clear it. Robin Bauer shoots it in behind the Phoenix net. Back to get it for the Roadrunners is Straub. Near side to Vashon, up to center right to McReynolds. 50 pass back to Vashon. Over the line they come, but offside on the left wing was Dan Bilesma, and we'll take a break here. 2.20 left in this first period. 2-0 Roadrunners will be right back after these words. When it comes to trucks, Sunset Ford is your Northwest Valley Truck Headquarters. Whether you're in the market for a full-size pickup or a sporty compact truck, Sunset Ford has the one for you. Come by Sunset Ford and register for a chance to play Spin to Win at an upcoming Roadrunner hockey game. Sunset Ford, 91st Avenue and West Bell Road. Making sure you Sunset Ford. Just over two minutes left in the period as we come back, and that puck shot by Eric Levine from center right. It hits off a stick and goes high into the stands. Bob, uh, 
it's in my imagination you also detect a lot more intensity on the part of the Roadrunners tonight. It wasn't a bad game last night. It just wasn't a great game. You know, not what we anticipated, but tonight they've already thrown more hard body checks in tonight's game than they did in three periods last night. Of course, Steve Wilson always shows the way with that in that category, but uh, you also detect, uh, I don't know, a lot more intensity and uh, a lot more physical nature tonight, that's for sure. I think so. I think the Roadrunners and the Grizzlies last night didn't have a lot of uh, intensity, and their there, both teams were a little flat, which maybe is a little um, mystifying because of the fact that both teams have been hot and they're the top two teams in the league, but each club had leads in that game last night, and nobody seemed to want to take control. And tonight, the Roadrunners knowing they need to come out fast against the Kalamazoo team that's known for its fast start. And the runners have the 2 nothing lead despite being outshot 11 to 5. Kalamazoo's been very active offensively in the last 10 minutes. And uh, Byron Defoe has done an outstanding job in goal for the Roadrunners. And yeah, the K-Wings have had a lot of shots in traffic in the early part of this game. And once again, back to Byron Defoe. He, he hasn't played in, in I, I think, a little bit over a week, if I'm not mistaken. And he's just uh, itching at the bit. You can tell in his mannerisms back there in the goal. He's doing things, and he's, he's moving around. He's very active, and that's good to see. Nicholas Bashan wins the faceoff against Kalamazoo's Neil Brady. And the runners, Eric Levine, shoots the puck in behind the wing's net. Quickly cleared out by Kalamazoo's Matt Pachuk. Near side to Lawrence. Left wing pass now to Peterson. Peterson checks off the puck at the Phoenix blue line. Runners play it on the turnover. Bilesman shoots cross ice into the wing's left corner. Now sent behind the net by Vashon. Bilesman taken down by Peterson. Coming into play to Tomlinson. Tomlinson walks in front. Tomlinson back in. Saved by Torquia. Rebound loose behind the net. Tomlinson trying to stay with it. Battling. Matt Pachuk for it. Tomlinson now. Centers out to the right circle. Intercepted by the wings and getting out with it is Peterson to center right. Kalamazoo wants the line change. So with a minute and a half left in the period, Peterson dumps it in behind the runner's net. Played by Levine up to center right to Chuchuk. Knocked away from him. Derek Smith to play for the wings. Back in his own end to Bauer. He's heavily forechecked by Chuchuk to make that Travis Richards. And the puck still loose and now cleared ahead by Kalamazoo as Needham skates it out. Wings come back three on three. Needham shoots it over the line for Derek Smith, but he's tied up by the Roadrunners defender, Rob Cowley. Final minute of play in the period. Now the runners bring it out. Chapman to shoot shot, shooting from the blue line. Save Parkiff. And behind the play, we're going to get a penalty. Going to be high sticking on Kalamazoo. Robin Bow is doing the arguing, and he's going to the box. Let's take a timeout with 53 seconds left in the period. The Roadrunners have a 2 0 lead and they'll be going on the power play. We'll be right back after these words. Well, I'm the real McCoy on the GY article. A true blue call through bottle of hand. Through my label, baby, I'm a football one man. Nothing beats our pants. Robin Bauer gets two minutes for high sticking in 1907. Runners on the power play, their second of the game. Didn't score on their first attempt. Here's the draw, one by Phoenix. Shot from the right point by Chapman. Stopped by the wings, and the puck cleared by Matt Pachuk. Out of play. Into the bench area on the far side, so we get the stoppage. Bob, if you win face-off, goals will come. Remember that. That's the saying that Chuchuk won that face-off clean right back to the point. And the blast right from the point by uh, Rob Cowley. And uh, Roadrunners have been doing a great job in face-offs the last few games I've seen him play anyway. And that one was picked clean by Chuchuk. Bang! He shot right on. Good save by Tokyo with his uh, left foot to kick that one away. Chuchuk on the draw against Brady. Huey wins it. To the right point, it goes to Chapman. On the board to Edgerton, now in the right corner for Jeff Chevalier. Tied up by the wings, Colin Bauer, now tapped to the right point, held in by Chapman. He'll take the shot, but uh, we're going to get a penalty. It's going to be hooking on Phoenix. The Roadrunners with still a minute 38 left in their power play and only 31 seconds left in the period will now take themselves out of the power play as Devin Edgerton takes the penalty for hooking. Oh, and as much as we've praised Edgerton, that is a bad penalty. You never take a penalty in the off offensive zone, and you double never, never take a penalty 
in the offensive zone on the power play. So a double misnomer there by Devin Edgerton and uh, not a very smart play as he hooked down uh, the Kalamazoo player. That kills the uh, power play and uh, the Wings will have a chance if uh, no goals are scored uh, for 22 seconds of power play in period number two. And they'll escape the uh, final 31 here, four on four off the face off. Quick shot by Brian McReynolds as he broke through to the high slot and he rifled one high and Tokyo got a glove on it, deflecting it into the crowd behind him. Oh, if you win face offs, goals will definitely come. And the Roadrunners have dominated the face off circle so far in this first period. Another excellent opportunity for a goal and Tokyo getting the glove on it and deflected it into the crowd. He's looking around. Torky is like, uh, guys, can we take a face-off before the series is over, please? McReynolds to face-off now against Mike Needham. Here's the drop. Needham does win this one for the wing. With now 26 seconds to go. Kalamazoo behind its own net and now rushing out with it. For the wings is Travis Richards. Hits Mike Needham at center right. Needham backhands a puck into the runner's right corner. Richards goes in deep after it. Check behind the net. Puck now loose to the left of the goal. Played behind the goal by Needham. Seven seconds left. Center's left circle. Richards the shot. Saves the throw. And he covers up with five seconds left in the period. Oh, good shot by Richards. And Bob, remember last night's game, Denver scored that goal late. I think 37 seconds left in period number two. They came out and they scored right away in the third period to take the lead. You never want to let a team score in the last minute of the play. Well, you never want to let a team score, but you doubly never want to let a team score in the last minute of the play. Richards with the opportunity, but Byron Defoe has thrown up that concrete wall so far in this first period. He's been excellent this first game back. Ellie's made 13 saves so far as the runners have been outshot 13 to nine by this Kalamazoo club, but yet it's a two nothing Phoenix lead on the scoreboard. So hey. have Go ahead, Bruce. I was going to say the K-Wings wanted to make a change right there. Looks like Jason Herter wanted to come on the ice, but uh, referee Angus would have no part of it. Final five seconds now underway. Shot from the left point. Blocked in front. Rebound. Hit the crossbar at the horn. Wow. The Kalamazoo wing hit the crossbar at the horn. And the runners go out of this first period, fortunate to keep the 2-0 lead, but they do. The wings won the draw. The first shot didn't get through. But the rebound was picked up. I didn't even see who it was. They got the shot off. And it was a hard, high shot that hit the crossbar and then bounced straight down. Army. Yes, Arnie's Army. Monday through Friday, 3 to 7. Ah, Sports Radio, 1360. Welcome back to the Coliseum. Bob Heathouse with Bruce Jacobs. Second period action about to get underway. Runners in the lead, 2-0 on first period goals by Jeff Cahoyer and Rob Cowie, despite being outshot 14-9. At center ice, Yannick Perot is faced off against Mike Needham. Here's a drop of the puck by referee Blaine Angus, and the second period is underway. Remember, both teams are skating at 4-on-4 four four for the first 107, and then the Wings will have a brief power play. Puck tapped on the right wing into the Kalamazoo zone. Rob Brown with it, shooting just wide to the right of the outstretched glove of Mike Torquia. Runners attacking from left to right in the second period. Puck loose in the Kalamazoo right corner. Trying to work it free now is Brown. Sends for Chapman at the top of the left circle, and it hops over his stick. And back to get it at the Roadrunners line is Brian Straw. Backhands it ahead to Brown. Now left wing pass to Yannick Perot, getting into the wing zone. He'll take the shot. It's wide to the right of the net. 20 seconds left in the four-on-four -four situation. Puck now loose in the Kalamazoo end. Wings gain control, and they will bring it back. Coming to center right now for Kalamazoo is Derek Smith, and he rifles one high into the stands. Derek Smith, the Wings leading goal scorer with 25, and last year he played on a line with the Roadrunners Robbie Brown. Smith, Brown, and Kansas City's Chris Hansel formed certainly one of the most potent lines in the IHL. In fact, Derek Smith had 44 goals. And uh, Robbie Brown set that IHL record with 113 assists, won the MVP, and so it's kind of a reunion of sorts tonight. Rob Brown was playing against his former team. That time, Derek Smith let it fly, but it went out of play. And we had a chance to talk to Robbie Brown about that after the game last night, about playing against the K-Wings, and you know you always get up when you play against one of your former teams. It's a natural thing. You want to prove them wrong. Off the drop, up controls. By the wings, now tapped behind the runner's net. Cowie going after it. 
penalty comes to an end on Kalamazoo's Robin Bauer. He's on the ice for the wings with a brief power play here. And they send it in behind the runner's net to our left. Played in the far corner by Rob Cowley. He'll rifle one the length of the ice for Phoenix. And back to get it for Kalamazoo, Travis Richards. Richard sends along the right board to Robin Bauer. Now tipping it through the neutral zone as Bauer played back at the runner's line by Chapman. Edgerson's out of the box. Takes the pass from Chapman. Dives. One hand's one. Pull in the net, but Porky out to stop it. And then he covers up to the right of the net and then tips it behind the goal. The play continues. Thought he was going to hold it, but he tapped it behind his own net. Edgerton came racing out of the penalty box. Never could really get full command of that puck, and he tried to one-hand it toward the net as Torquia came out to meet him. Torquia made the save, and uh, the Roadrunners come up empty. Both teams back now at full strength. Play loose and going on in the neutral zone. As the puck is loose in the neutral zone, I should say, Murray sends it in behind the Roadrunners' net. Played by Chapman there. It is Tomlinson. Right wing pass too far for Dan Bilesma. Played by Kalamazoo Dennis Smith to Jeff Best. He'll center it to the neutral ice area. Coming over the line now, Shane Peacock going to the net. Centers in front for Darren Smith. Also Best gets a shot. Save made by Defoe. Centered from behind the net, but blocked in front. And the wings don't get another attempt. They keep it in, however. Smith the drive. Bob save. Made by Byron Defoe, and he holds on. All oh, those wings are... Uh, they got to be a little frustrated. Best with the shot. Great play by Defoe. Sliding out of his net. Making that save. And then, of course, that ever active glove hand. Isn't that a beautiful fight when you see that goalie make that glove save? He's almost going to split. He just picks out that glove and stares that puck. That's got to be one of the prettiest saves that you find in, in hockey. And uh, Byron Defoe does it as good as anybody. And that was a very, very, very good save on the slap shot by uh, Smith. Kalamazoo ended the first period with a lot of pressure and they've started to get it going again here in the second. Runners maintaining the 2-0 lead. Off the faceoff, puck played by Phoenix. Devin Edgerton gets to center right, shoots it in behind the Kalamazoo net. Torquia back to play. Leaves it to Richard. Richard's trying to clear, sends in the left corner for Mark Lawrence. He takes a hit from Chevalier, shooting behind the goal. Edgerton now checking. Travis Richard does the runners are trying to bottle the wings up behind their own net. Now Kalamazoo breaks the pressure. Up the ice they come. And then a big hit by Levine on Jason Herter in the neutral zone. Puck slides into the runner's right corner. Levine also there to check Mark Lawrence. Puck turned away and cleared by the road runners. Sent the length of the ice. Racing after it is Richard. He'll make the touch ahead of Chevalier. And it's icing on Phoenix and will take a break. 16.48 to go. Second period. 2 nothing runners in the lead. We'll be right back after these words. Fans come to expect the very best, and that's exactly what the fans of Sunset Ford know to expect. They score with service, value, and customer satisfaction. Come by Sunset Ford and register for a chance to play Spin to Win at an upcoming Roadrunner hockey game. Check out the winning team at Sunset Ford and find out why their fans keep coming back to cheer them on. Making sure you're satisfied. Sunset Bob Heathouse with Bruce Jacobs back in the Coliseum. 2-0 Roadrunners, early second period. Face off to the left to Byron Defoe. Puck controlled by Phoenix. Heading it out. Edamansky right side to center right to Rob Brown. Brown driving up the right wing. Going deep into the corner. Taken out of the play by Matt Pachuk. And the loose puck picked off by the wings. Neil Brady now. He goes down along the right boards and slides into the neutral zone. Gets back up. And controls the puck. And he hits Mark Peterson with a pass. Peterson one-on-one -on -one against Wilson. Trying to get the shot off. Wilson gets a stick on that shot. And deflects it out of play. And we get the stoppage. Well, right now we want to say a special hello to a big Roadrunners fan, Mr. Penny Dyke, who's in the Scottsdale Memorial Hospital tonight. And Penny is a little under the weather. Certainly want to wish him a very speedy recovery. He's a good friend of the Roadrunners president, Lyle Abraham. And... Long-time Roadrunners fan, Penny, we hope that uh, you feel better and get back to the uh, hockey games very soon. And I'll diddle that and on the last play. Mark Lawrence came through the crease before that last stoppage, and he kind of, like, nudged the foe with his elbow, sort of like saying, like, uh, all right, you got us frustrated. Now uh, it's time to uh, get a little loose there and goal. You can tell when the opposition's getting a little frustrated. It starts bumping the goalie a little bit. Face off in the runner's end, controlled by Kalamazoo. Cap behind the net, now centered out in front by Betts. Tips on net, cleave made by Byron Defoe. 
And he covers up as the wings again are a little feisty in the crease area. McCrory has to be separated from Ryan Chapman. Bob, I think what happened there was the pro tried to deflect that puck away, but he mishandled it with a stick and it almost got between him, so he had to fall on it. And even when Defoe makes a mistake, he looks good doing that too. You know, he's got that certain panache. You like that one? I went to the uh, dictionary between periods to look for a word for flair. I came up with panache. That's a good one. Thank you. Byron Defoe making his 49th appearance. And he has 24 wins, which ties an all-time franchise record. As I mentioned in the pregame show, he's either set or tied nine franchise records this year, and he's within reach of a few more. And if he can hang on to this 2-0 lead, he could have one tonight. 25 wins. Long way to go, though. Runner taps it. Stay tough against this very good Kalamazoo team. Shot from the left side by Chapman. Just goes wide to Torquia. Rebound cleared by the wings. Back into the Roadrunner's end. Ryan Saw back to get it. Stops behind his own net to set up. Now gets pressure from Mike Needham. He'll bang one off the boards, and he'll clear it to center right. Play back at the Kalamazoo line. Pass near side to Matt Pachuk. Richard Matvichuk shoots into the runner's left corner. Derek Smith for checking against Brian Straub. Puck is now turned over. Here's Smith in front. Saved by the four. Rebound loose behind the net. Picked off again by the wing. Centered out in front as Kalamazoo tried to get another attempt and back to play it is the foe. He's on his back and he has that puck between his legs and holds on for the whistle. Again, Bruce, the wing buzzing around that roadrunner's net but not able to get the puck past Byron Defoe. Well, I hope Defoe's got the uh, stamina to be as busy as, as he is because he hasn't played in a while. Brian Chapman on that uh, sequence of plays made two bad clearing passes and also didn't pick up his man on the left-hand side. The second one, I'll tell you, Derek Smith, he's really got to be upset because he's had a number of chances in this hockey game and he's come up uh, absolutely blank so far. But Byron Defoe has been like uh, the one-man wrecking crew or the one-man stopping crew so far. Even when the Roadrunners make a defensive mistake, he's there to cover it up. And I tell you what, as this game goes on, if Defoe continues to play this well, you might see uh, the Wings take a few more liberties at Byron Defoe to try to get him off his game, Bob, because right now his focus and concentration are at a uh, very high level, and he just looks superb. Meanwhile, Kalamazoo's Mark Lawrence leaves, accompanied by trainer Corky Osborne, so we'll keep an eye on him to see if he returns. Mark Lawrence, uh, one of the top Kalamazoo players. Off the faceoff now, the runners scramble to get it out of their zone, and it's cleared. Back to the wings in. Playing it for Kalamazoo, Dennis Smith. Shoots it ahead to center right, intercepted there, and got ahead by the roadrunners, but now Kalamazoo comes right back. Neil Brady, checked at center right by Levine. Puck tapped ahead by Bilesma, picked off by Vashon, shooting from the wings blue line. It deflects off a stick wide into the right corner. Cleared but not out by Kalamazoo. And now the wings do clear it. That's the center right. Trying to kick it off with Pat Murray. Couldn't get a handle on it. Played back in the roadrunner zone by Eric Levine. He has it stolen right at the line. And then the check is put on by Straub against Jeff Best. So Best does not get an opportunity. Now the wings trying to keep it in but cannot. Played by Grant Marshall. And the wing centerman dumps the puck into the runner's left corner. Trying to dig it free as McCrory in front for Best. Couldn't get a stick on it. Kept in left point by Travis Richards. Two picks a shot. Save to throw a rebound. Loose in front. McCrory trying to get a rebound. Also there is Best for Kalamazoo. But again, Byron Defoe down on the ice and is able to cover up that loose puck and draw the whistle. Well, oh, they're getting all kinds of chances. I mean, every line for the K-Wings is in that offensive zone. And Bob, sooner or later, the Roadman is going to need to make some sort of an offensive surge. They will not win this hockey game being outshot the way they are right now. It's almost two to one. The Wings have 19 shots, and the runners have only 10. And uh, the runners have only one shot in this first period. They're going to need to turn it on a little bit and try to force the play. It looks like the ice might be tilted, I think, a little bit towards the Roadrunner's end because it's all pay wings in this period. I think Robbie Ledge going to call a timeout right here. He is. Coach Rob Blair is calling a timeout to get his uh, team settled down a little bit. And with that timeout, let's us take a break. 13.51 left in the second period. 2-0 Roadrunners holding the lead. But Kalamazoo's knocking loudly on the door. We'll be back after these words.
as we come back to the Coliseum, Bruce, a lot of times coaches will call timeouts maybe after something has happened. Coach Rob Laird calls the timeout to maybe prevent something from happening. That's why he is the good coach that he is. And you find that all good coaches know when to use that timeout strategically. And that's, that's a great call by Robbie Laird. He knows that the K-Wings are all over his runners. And he's got to stem the, the tide right here because this game could get uh, close. Action underway, delayed penalty coming up, and there's going to be a boarding penalty called on the near side. A boarding penalty will be called against Kalamazoo. And it's going to be called on Mike Needham. Needham with the heavy check along the near board. And that will take some of the momentum away from the wings here in the second period as the Roadrunners leading 2-0. We'll go back on the power play and hopefully get something going offensively. They only have 10 shots in the game and only one shot in the first 622 of this second period. Well, that's a bad penalty by Needham. This team's got all the momentum right now. Roadrunners are forced to take a timeout to stem the side, and he comes right out and gets a boarding penalty. Not very smart. Well, maybe Robbie Laird drew that up. You know? <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it, too. Kuchuk to take the draw against Neil Brady and Buck set back into the runner's end. Bravo played ahead to center right to Chevalier. Up on the left wing for Edgerton at the line. Knocked away by the wing. Runners regrouping in the neutral zone. Now Cowley sends one in behind the Kalamazoo net. Played by Torquia. Runs into his own player there. The puck flies in the air. Goes down against the end boards, but the runner's able to play it. Kuchuk sends it behind the net for Edgerton left corner. He'll tap it to the point. Two straw. Back to Edgerton. Now behind the net to Chevalier. Checked by Matt Pachuk to the ice. Puck is still loose behind the net. Tried free briefly by Edgerton. Now played by Chevalier to the left circle to Edgerton. Blue line scrub. One time point just wide. Rebound cleared by the wings. Not out. Kept in right point by Cowley. Sends cross ice to the left point to Devin Edgerton. To the blue line to scrub. His shot blocked in front. Rebound. Edgerton left circle. Edge goes behind the net. Sends in the right corner now for Shucha. Torque is without a stick. And he also went down, but now he's back up. He still has no goaltender stick. Kuchuk still with a puck now, and it's cleared out of the zone. The Roadrunners miss fire on the pass and do not keep it in. Cowley plays it, so they do keep possession, but they have to set up again, and that allows Torquia to get his stick and get back in position. And now as it's driven in behind the wings net, Torquia plays it and will clear it himself the length of the ice. Uh, that's one of the few bad passes that Kuchuk has made. Half a minute to go in the penalty on Kalamazoo's need him. 12 minutes left, second period, 2-0 Phoenix. On the right side, Yannick Perot over the line. Yannick stops along the right boards, goes deep into the Kalamazoo right corner. Hands it off to Rob Brown. Brown back for Perot. Now to Brown. He'll take the shot. Hook you the save, and he covers up and holds on, and we get a stoppage. Fans Ball in Phoenix, 50 car rental, gives you an incredible collection of different size and models to choose from. Like the roomy Chrysler Concord, and that means you can rent just the right car at just the right price. Thrifty has 10 convenient locations in the Valley to serve you, and to make your reservation, simply call 244-0311. Thrifty Car Rental is the official provider of rental cars and trucks for the Phoenix Roadrunners Hockey Club. Bob, I'm sure that you never show, show that shot by Robbie Brown. He came out on the right side and just fired the puck at Torquia was standing there, and then he looked down and he said, oh, look at that thing, where'd that come from? I know he wasn't anticipating that quick shot and that high shot by Robbie Brown, and a good shot. That's what the Roadrunners need to do is, is pepper Torquia with a few shots, at least make the board look a little bit more interesting, a little bit closer, if nothing else, try to mount some sort of an attack, and uh, they still have 13 seconds left on the power play to do something. Face off to the left of Torquia, buck and pull by Phoenix, left point, shot by Wilson, he scores! face-offs and the goals will come. Clean win by Perot. Vicky passed it over to Brown. Fired the puck over to Wilson from the point on the left side and bang! Goal! Clean up. And it comes on the power play in the final seconds of that Needham penalty for boarding. So it does come back to haunt the wing. And the Roadrunners get the goal at 8-13. And the ex Kalamazoo wing, Steve Wilson, gets it with the assist going to Rob Brown and Yannick Perot. 
Who else? For Owen Brown. Now up their total to 98 and 93 points respectively. And Steve Wilson picks up his second goal of the year, and it's a big one. 3-0 Phoenix. Back to live action shot by Brown from the top of the right circle, and Torquia makes that save and holds on. Both sides against the screen by Ned. Back left in in front of the net, setting that screen right there. And uh, that's how you make things happen. You win the face off, you get a couple of passes. It start, started, originated at the point, that's what the point is there for. You get a rebound, in this case, it was just a shot. And with that in front of the net, uh, Torquia never saw the uh, never saw the shot coming. Well, I tell you what, Steve Wilson doesn't score a lot of goals, but uh, that's certainly a big one. The wings mounting all the attack in this series, Bob. Everything has thrown everything at the foe, and it's the rubber to score a goal. That's got to be deflating. And the last two Phoenix goals scored by defenseman on shot from the point with screens in front of the goaltender Torquia. That's a great effective use of getting the body in front of the net. And the goaltender just cannot see that shot incoming. Roadrunners again on the attack and a shot to the right of the goal by Chevalier goes wide. In the right corner, going after Chevalier, taps it behind the net, goes out to the left point, shot from there, blocked in front, rebound, waiting, backhander, oh, and edge it to backhander over the net, rebound, and score! Chevalier is second of the night, and fans in two games. Look at Chevalier celebrating by himself. He raised his hand. I don't think he knows. I don't think the Red Wings knew that he scored the goal because he was behind the net and he was celebrating and all the other four Red Wings were in a circle and all of a sudden Chevalier came over. Hey guys, I scored the goal. I'm the man here, guys. And then they embraced him, of course. I don't know where that puck fell down from. I don't know where that puck came from. But uh, Chevalier found the puck. I just banged it by Torquia, and I think we're going to get a goaltending goal change right here, Bob, as Torquia is heading for the bench. Well, we will as Mike Torquia leaves after giving up the fourth goal of the night to the Roadrunners and the second in less than a minute. Kevin Anderson had the great chance. He had Torquia down, and he waited and back into the puck high over the net. Puck came down, however, and Jeff Chevalier was able to ram it home. That's his second of the night, 23rd of the year, and fourth in the last two games. Devin Edgerton picks up his second assist of the game. Brian Chapman will get an assist. And that tells the end for Mike Torquia, the very talented rookie. Emmanuel Fernandez, the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League Player of the Year, will replace Torquia in goal for Kalamazoo. Fernandez is making his 36th appearance has a record of 17-6-8, a 2.66 goals against average, which is second in the league, and a 9-10 save percentage. He was in the net in the 3-1 loss last night in Las Vegas. He made 33 saves, and he replaces Mike Torquia at the 8.58 mark of the second period with the Roadrunners leading it 4-0. And as we get back briefly underway again, the puck is tipped out of play in the Roadrunners zone on the near side. And how about that move by Devin Edgerton? before Chevalier's goal. Edgerton had the puck and he was waiting for the perfect time. He got Torquia to commit to fall down, but when he took the backhand, it went up over the net. And Bob, I'm not sure who deflected that puck. I'm not sure if it was Torquia or one of the uh, the wings defensemen deflected that puck right back in front of the uh, right back in front of the goal because that one was aimed for behind the net. And all of a sudden it was back in front and Chevalier had the wide open net. And it looks like we have something going on down here. Maybe a Someone was hit with a puck, unfortunately, as it went over the glass. Oh. I thought somebody lost their toupee on the ice or something. No, unfortunately, it's much more serious than that. There's a oh, young yeah, man, I believe, who's uh, being attended to. In any event, back to live action. In the Roadrunner zone, Kalamazoo trying to pressure. The runners hit the wings for two within a span of 45 seconds. Now it's a 4-0 Phoenix lead. Runners able to gain control and clear the zone. Tap by Vashon into the Kalamazoo right corner. Back to get it there for the wings is Shane Peacock. Sends it around the right side and Kalamazoo comes back. Grant Marshall sends cross ice into the runner's left corner. Playing the rebound off the end boards is Defoe. Sends it into the far corner. Picked off by Dave Tomlinson. He'll get it out to center to Nicholas Vashon. Vashon on the right wing. Knocked it over the line to Dan Bilesma. 
Backhand one toward the net. Fernandez makes the save. Back down there in front. Also, the Kalamazoo defense is all over the ice. And the puck is swept away. And the runners don't get another attempt. And it's cleared now by Kalamazoo. Peacock into the runner's right circle. Back to get it there. Here's Brian Stoff. Sends it off the right board. Trying to find Ned Amansky. Ned goes into the Kalamazoo right corner. Bangs there with the... Defenseman Richards, puck comes free to Kalamazoo. Jeff Best leads the rush up the ice to Marshall in the runner's high slot. Ass was behind him. Loose puck played by Yannick Perot. Then into the Kalamazoo left corner. Manny Fernandez out of his net to play it. The young rookie Fernandez just replacing starter Mike Torkey in goal at 8.58. Back come the wing. Shot from the right wing by Marshall. Turned away. Rebound. Loose along the near board. Phoenix able to spare it out of its own end. On the right wing, it's Perot sending it cross ice into the Kalamazoo left corner. Back to get it, Jason Herter with 9-10 left in the period. Herter sends it out to Jeff Beth. Now, Ed Manning to Derek Smith. Smith on the right wing. Goes one-on-one -on -one against Straub. Straub takes him out with a hip check. Puck played behind the runner's net by Chapman. Feeds it on the near side to Brown. Matt Pachuk steps up to steal. And then we have a hand pass violation against Kalamazoo in the Roadrunner zone, so the play is whistled dead, and we'll come back to the neutralized area for the faceoff. Let's take a break. 8.53 to go, second period. It's 4-0 Phoenix. We'll be right back after these words. Yes, Too long the road ain't good for no man. Working hard gets on the bill. I can't stand, but I'm coming home. And one thing's true, nothing beats it but with you. Nothing beats the best, but I will. Nothing beats the best. Break out the king of the field, you got a just got here. Nothing beats the best. And how's the first thing to lose Missouri? <laughs> Action underway again in the Roadrunner zone. Puck cleared by Brian Chapman on the left side for Jeff Chevalier. Here's Chevalier over the line, cut off, gets the shot off. As he had Bauer draped all over him and tipped wide by Fernandez. Rebound along the near boards, and the wings gain control and bring it back. Matt Pachuk, right side over the line to meet him. He'll drop it off. Shot from the right circle by Bauer, and the stand-up stick save made by Byron Defoe. Rebound comes away to the Roadrunners. Then on the left side, racing after the Chevalier in over the Kalamazoo line. Bauer gets there first to play it. Now it's taken away along the left board briefly by Edgerton, but then taken back by Robin Bauer. Bauer sends it ahead to Mike Needham. Needham gets in over the runner, fine on the right wing, looks in the slot, trying to find Matt Pachuk with a pass. It's intercepted and cleared by the runners back to center right. Capped there by Scott McCrory. On the right wing, it's played by Matt Pachuk over the runner's line to McCrory. He'll drop it off in the right circle. Quick shot right on by the K-Wing Peterson. That stop. Rebound along the near board, held in left point by Dennis Smith. Heading into the high slot, it's intercepted by Cowley. Now he ahead to Tomlinson. Tomlinson racing over the line. Stops it to Vashon. He's knocked down. Ends up on top of the puck. And then we get the stoppage as Nicholas Vashon on his stomach is on top of the puck in the Kalamazoo high slot. All kinds of guys just falling down. We had an incident in front of the net before in front of Matty Fernandez when it looked like uh, bowling for wings. All of a sudden, every wing was down on the ice in front of Fernandez. And that whole play was created by Nicholas Vashon, who had a shot on goal and then... Uh, was stumbling down, was knocked down in front of the net, and all of a sudden, like, five wings fell over him. And everybody was down. Everybody was piling up. It was like, kill the quarterback in football. And then there, Vashon comes over the net. He gets knocked down again. I'll tell you what, since uh, we mentioned that the wings were badly out of shooting the Roadrunners, Phoenix has been able to outshoot uh, the wings 7-2 to in the last uh, couple of minutes. Yeah, ever since the timeout and the subsequent penalty against Needham, the Roadrunners have been able to takes all the momentum back. They scored on the power play, and since then have been pressuring more as well. So it's a 4-0 Roadrunners lead with 7-11 left in the second period. Up the ice now come the wings. Behind the play, penalty coming up on Phoenix. Richard shooting from the left forward. Save made by Defoe. Rebound along the right side. Kept in by Peacock. Takes a hit over there from Wilson. Kalamazoo gets Fernandez off for the sixth attacker, but as they do, We'll get the touch by the Roadrunners, Rob Brown, and we'll get the stoppage and the penalty called by referee Blaine Angus. It'll be high sticking. I think it's on Ned, too. He knocked down Marshall in the neutral zone. I think that's when the penalty was called. 
Penalty will be on Vaslov Denimanski Jr. He comes over to the penalty box. We're going to take a timeout. 6.56 to go in the second period. 4-0 Phoenix. Kalamazoo going on the power play. We'll be back after this 30-second break. Well, I'm here with a big lottery winner who wants to remain anonymous, so we'll just call him Rich. Uh, that's my real name. Oh, well, uh, uh, Fred. Now, uh, uh, Rich Jr. says there was a big celebration out there at 1616 East Maple Drive. Ah, uh, yes. But he told you what? Now, what advice would you give people? Uh, don't let him sell you on this winner's protection program. Great advice and great fake voice. It's real. I'd have those nodules checked. Arizona Lottery. Kalamazoo on the power play as we come back, and the Roadrunners able to clear that puck out of their own end. At center right, Dan Biles up, backhands it into the wing's right corner. Fernandez stops it up, leaves it behind the net for Matt Pachuk. Matt Pachuk, head man's on the left side now to center right to James Peacock. He'll drop it off to Robin Biles. Biles tied up by Biles, who got back defensively, and the wings do not penetrate the Roadrunners' zone. Now Matt Pachuk from center right sends it just over the Phoenix line. Puck tied up along the near board, just inside the blue line on the near side. Now it's worked free and again cleared out to center. Matt Pachuk then knocked down by Vashon. Here's a break partially for Bilesman, but he can't get control of the puck, and it's knocked away. Bilesman trying to center it from the right corner, now intercepted by Kalamazoo, and they'll come back on the power play. Pass from Peacock, too far for Matt Pachuk, played by Straub behind the Roadrunners net, and it's icing on Kalamazoo with a minute two. Left in the penalty on Metamansky. Bob, I think Nicholas Vashon got away with one there. He chopped Matzichuk down to the ice. And Matzichuk was looking around for a penalty, but uh, referee Blaine Angus, uh, I guess he felt it was a pretty clean shot. It looked like he took a stick and chopped him on the back of the skate. And although he didn't uh, make contact with the body, that's a pretty dangerous play. And Matzichuk uh, got up looking for the penalty and the two-man advantage for the K-Wings. But uh, Vashon got away with one right there. Face off now to the left of Fernandez with a minute two left in the Roadrunners penalty on Netamansky. Ryan McReynolds to face off for Phoenix. And he takes the draw against Neil Brady. Brady wins it for Kalamazoo and the wings break their zone and come up the ice on the power play. Mark Peterson cut off by Wilson as he gets over the line on the right side. The loose puck is played by Brian Chapman and cleared the length of the ice. Stopping it up is Fernandez. He leaves it behind the net for Jason Herter. Herter with five power play goals, second on this wing team to Eric Smith, nine. Up the ice come the K-Wing. Travis Richards sends it hard off the board behind the runner's net. Play on the far side by Kalamazoo as they keep it alive. McCrory, right corner to Peterson. Blue line Herter, left circle, trying to find Richards. He's tied up, and then he knocks Tomlinson down. Meanwhile, Kalamazoo keeps possession. McCrory to the blue line to Herter. Shot, six saves the foe. Rebound right corner, played by Neil Brady. To Scott McCrory in the right corner. Sends it out to the right point. Herter, now to Brady. Shooting from the right circle. Saves the foe. Rebound, swatted away. Penalty over on the Roadrunner Sandomansky. And now Tomlinson is knocked down. There'll be a penalty on Kalamazoo. As soon as the Sandomansky penalty ends, the Roadrunners now will be going on the power play themselves as the wings are guilty of cross-checking in the Roadrunner slot. Yeah, Mark Peterson's going to get this one. He's going off, and it took the K-Wings a minute and a half to get any kind of a setup on that power play. They finally got in the zone with about 30 seconds left, and they had a couple of good opportunities, but once again, Byron Defoe with those quick feet just knocking pucks away, and Mark Peterson obviously, as is the K-Wing team, frustrated with the cross-check, and he goes off for two minutes. Well, we got to go back to that timeout by Robbie Lez. Right now, you have to say that that could be the turning point of this hockey game at about the 12:20 uh, mark of this period. And ever since then, it's been all roadrunners since that point. Yeah, that was a very good timeout, and I think again you have to look at that penalty on Mike Needham because that happened shortly after the timeout, and that also went a great ways in stemming the Kalamazoo momentum. And of course, the roadrunners subsequently scored on the power play and then scored again. 45 seconds after that. So the timeout culminating with the uh, Needham penalty and things have shifted now certainly to the Roadrunners' favor, both on the scoreboard at 4 nothing and also in terms of play. Now the runners are on the power play again. Up shot into the Kalamazoo in. Right point, Cowley. Sends left point to Straub. Back to Cowley at the line. 
Again to Straub at the left point. Shoots it along the left board to Gary Shuchuk. Shuchuk back to Straub. Again to Shuchuk. Shuchuk, top of the left circle. We'll find Straub. Has the stick cock. Takes the shot. Dave Fernandez. Rebound swept just wide by Chevalier. Looking for the hat trick. Now along the near board. Just work free by Edgerton. To Cowley. His shot blocked in front. Rebound swatted out of there on a good play by the Kalamazoo defenseman Matt Pachuk. And the runners have to go back to play it. Up the ice they come quickly. On the right side, scooting into the zone is Shuchuk. Couldn't control the puck. Third left side. Here's Brown just on the ice. Firing one. Saved by Fernandez. Rebound. Now backhanded out of the zone by Kalamazoo. And it sent the length of the ice deep into the Roadrunners' end with 45 seconds. Left in the wings penalty on Mark Peterson. Three and a half minutes left. Second period. 4 nothing. Roadrunners in the lead. Rob Brown brings it up for Phoenix. Here's Brown over the line. Passing off to Perot. Yannick along the left board. Couldn't handle the puck. Now Brown is able to play it. Sends it behind the net. Kicks off on the near side and cleared by the wing. Sent by Derek Smith back to the Phoenix blue line. Now up the ice comes B. Wilson. He scored on the power play earlier in this period. Shoots it in behind the net. Now goes after it. Wilson comes up with it in the right circle. Now he hands it off to Chapman. Chapman right corner to Brown. Brown back to the right point to Chapman. Five seconds left in the power play. Pass goes for Brown. Tips away. Now loose in the right circle. Wings Robin Bauer gains control. And backhands at the length of the ice as the penalty on Peterson comes to an end. So Kalamazoo is back to full strength. And it remains a 4 nothing Roadrunners lead. Up the ice on the left side, Neil Brady. Looks in the high spot for Peterson. He was tied up. Meanwhile, a shot right on by McCrory. And a big save made by Byron Defoe. Well, Cowie had Peterson tied up, but McCrory got the shot, and Defoe made the save. At the other end, a drive by Vashon goes wide. 220 left in the period. Here's Brown in front for a cutting Vashon. He was tied up by McCrory in front and couldn't get the shot off. Back comes Kalamazoo quickly. Herder to Peacock. Back to Herder. Runners left circle. Shooting is Herder. And with Peacock screaming in front of him, Byron Defoe somehow looks around him to make the club save. And he holds on, and we have to take a break here. 207 left in the period. 4 0. Roadrunners in the lead will be back after these words. Hey, kids, 12 and under, join Rockies Club. The Domino's Pizza of Junior Roadrunners Club brings you behind the scenes of your favorite hockey team, the Phoenix Roadrunners. Membership is free. There's opportunities to meet the players, a newsletter, and a membership card that entitles you to ticket discounts for selected games. To join the Domino's Pizza Junior Roadrunners Club, just call the runners at 340-0001. Phoenix Roadrunners! Byron Defoe with 25 saves so far, 207 left. In the second period, runners in the lead, four zip. Ace off in the Phoenix end. Here's the Kalamazoo Club keeping it in. Shot from the right point. Deflected away. Rebound loose along the near board. Files were digs it out. Sends it behind the net to Straw. Near corner now to Wilson. Steve Wilson shoots it up the right side. Gets it out of the zone. Files can't play it. Tapped ahead by Matt Pachuk. And it's shot on the Roadrunner's net by the wing. Turned away by Defoe. He'll give it to Wilson. Wilson can't get it out on the first try. Now goes back into the left corner to replay it. Sends it up to the left point, held in by Matt Pachuk, tipped away from him by Bilesma. Loose puck played by Vashon. As Nick Reynolds and Bilesma go to the net, pass in front, blocked by a sliding Kalamazoo defenseman. That was Colin Bauer. Great play by Bauer because Vashon had two roadrunners going to the net, and the pass was blocked by Bauer, averting Phoenix pressure in the Kalamazoo zone. Minute 10 left in the period now. Runners able to clear that puck out of their own end again. Chapman sends it to center right. Vashon tipping it to Shuchuk, getting into the wing zone. Shuchuk scores! <laughs> Somebody better check the back of the net. They might have to throw up a hole. That was a rocket from Gary Shuchuk at the top of the left circle. Fernandez, hands up, never saw it, never had a chance. 5-0 Phoenix. And I'll tell you what, right before that, I think it was Vashon. He just took Jason Herder out of the play along the boards over there by the orange plus sign. He just took Herder, excuse me, he just took Herder and wiped him out. 
and pass the puck up ahead. And you're right, Chuchuk was the beneficiary of that play. It was really a two-on-one that the herder was taken out of the play by Vashon. And Chuchuk with the rifle. And you're right, somebody better check the back of that net see if there's a hole in it because that was a great shot. Nicholas Vashon will get his second assist of the game. Chuchuk is eighth goal of the season. And that was a rocket. 19 minutes is the time of the goal. Three uncontested second period goals for the Roadrunners. They lead it 5 0 heading into the final seconds of this middle frame. Puck now loose in the Kalamazoo zone as we get back to live action. Roadrunners trying to create a turnover. Now loose in the right corner. Edgerton does tap it behind the net. Chevalier walks out in front, tips it just wide to the left of the net. Rebound cleared by Kalamazoo's McCrory, the length of the ice. And we'll get icing as it's touched by Chapman. Let's take a timeout. 12 seconds left in the period. We'll be right back after these words. Completely satisfied. It seems a lot to us. Sunset board. For service and value, there's only one name to trust. Sunset board. The people who make it feel good about driving a board. That's what they just for you. Twelve seconds left in the second period. Roadrunners lead at five nothing. Face off in the wing zone. Off the draw. Puck and pull by Kalamazoo. And they come out with it to center ice. From center ice. Matt Pachuk drives one on net. Stopped by default. That'll do it for the second period. There's the horn. The second period comes to an end. And what a period it was for Phoenix. Three unanswered goals. Wilson, Chavarge, and Tuchuk. Well, Byron Defoe is splendid at the other end. And it's a Sports Radio 1360 KGME. We listen to you. Well, the Roadrunners with a 5 nothing lead over the Kalamazoo Wings as we get set to start the third period. Bob Heathouse with Bruce Jacobs back with you live in the Coliseum. And remember, fans, this third period faceoff is brought to you by Sunset Ford. Stop by Sunset Ford and register for a chance to play spin to win at an upcoming Roadrunners game. Sunset Ford, located at 91st Avenue and Bell Road, just west of the 101 loop. Referee Blaine Angus is at center ice. So are Yannick Perot and also Scott McCrory. Here's the drop of the puck, and the third period is underway. Puck immediately driven in to the right of Byron Defoe in the zone to our right. Byron reaches out, stops it with a big goaltender stick, leaves it behind the cage to Brian Chapman. Roadrunners with a five-goal lead, 5-0, five entering the third period. They're attacking from right to left in this final frame. Pass from Perot to the Kalamazoo line, intercepted by Derek Smith. Smith comes up the right side over the line, drops it to Mike Needham. He'll get the shot off, saved by Defoe, and the rebound ricochets into the crowd. Fans, if you're looking for the best bargains in town, visit the Glendale 9 driving and swap meet. The proud new sponsor, the Phoenix Roadrunners. They're located on 55th Avenue between Bethany Home and Missouri, where every Saturday and Sunday the swap meet holds two lucky drawings for a pair of free Roadrunner tickets. Bob, I'm wondering if Robbie Laird has any more timeouts in his arsenal. What a great, I'm telling you, we've mentioned it, but what a great call. And, and the game just changed right from that moment. As soon as he called that timeout, the Roadrunners had one shot on goal in that period. They were being dominated. And then right after that, Needham took that uh, foolish boarding penalty, and it was bang, bang, it was 4 nothing. And the game was just, uh, you know, it's never over. But the game has been all one-sided. Roadrunners all their way since that play. And, you know, I, you have to give credit where credit is due. And Robbie Laird deserves a lot of it because he saw that his team was going absolutely nowhere. And they were playing that defensive hockey. And they were just sitting back, letting the K-Wings buzz around Byron Defoe. And from that moment on, the game changed all together. Two tuck and best for the draw on the runner's end. Puck and pull by Kalamazoo. Now turned over to Rob Cowley on the near boards, and Cowley will clear it back to the Kalamazoo zone for Phoenix. Got back out of there by the wings, and Cowley again to play it, this time in his own end. He'll send it ahead on the left wing. Kicked off in the neutralized area by uh, Best of Kalamazoo. Got into the runner's left corner. Out of that to clear it is the phone. It's turned over in a quick shot from the left board. Just missed a gaping Roadrunner's net as the foe scrambled back to get into position. Buck cleared now by the Roadrunners, the length of the ice. Find his own net to play at Fort Kalamazoo as Richards. Then near side, and then it's tipped down the right wing board the length of the ice. 
Stopping it up is Defoe. He gives it to Levine. He almost had it stolen by Neil Brady. Levine able to keep possession. Then he bangs it off the left board. Puck slides deep into the wing's left corner. Dennis Smith back to get it. He'll send it up the left side. Can't find a teammate. Puck will slide the length of the ice. Icing waved off by the linesman. And back to get it. Brian Staub in his own end for the Roadrunner. Trying to find Biles on the far side. And helping it out of the zone is Bashan. Back to the Kalamazoo line to play it. Jane Peacock. Pass on the right wing for Peterson. Too far. Wait instead by the Roadrunner. Straub gives it now to Tomlinson. He comes to center ice on the left wing and shoots it off of Dennis Smith. Out of play, and we uh, get the stoppage. Well, Bob, you're five goals down now at this point. You've pretty much outplayed the opposition, except for uh, a few spurts. What do you what do you do when you're the K-Wings as you go into the secondary intermission and uh, you had the game, you know, you were controlling the tempo of the game, certainly, and uh, things change just like that. I'm wondering what Coach Ken Hitchcock told, uh, told his team uh, in between the second and third period. Well, the K-Wings, a team that uh, is a very historically good defensive team, but not really known for coming from behind, especially from a five-goal deficit. Wings have had some trouble scoring goals of late. Only one goal in three of their last four games and eight goals total in their last five. Right now, you have to like the way the Roadrunners are sitting. Although there still is a 17.46 left as we get a stoppage for a two-zone pass, but the Wings with their leading score, Dave Barr out of the lineup. And their top defenseman, Brad Barry, out of the lineup. Falling behind early, and Byron Defoe has made some great saves to keep the Roadrunners in the lead, and then Phoenix was able to take over with a three-goal second period burst, and now it's 5 nothing Roadrunners. And correct me if I'm not mistaken, it wasn't uh, Coach Hitchcock who was the coach in the IHL All-Star game who was mic'd up to the booth uh, if I'm not mistaken, with Dick McDonald doing that broadcast, wasn't he? The, he was the guy, right? I believe he was. Ken Hitchcock was one of the all-star coaches. He's a pretty colorful character. Off the face-off, quick shot by Kalamazoo's Pat Murray. Just goes wide to the right of the Roadrunner net. Stepped out of there by Edgerton. He's two on one now with Chevalier. Racing to make it a three on one is Chapman. Here's Edgerton to Chevalier! And he couldn't control the pass, and he tipped the bouncing puck just wide of the open Kalamazoo net. Shot from the left boards by Chapman right on. And Fernandez makes the save, and he holds on. What a play by Devin Edgerton. He put that puck right around Matt, uh, Chuck, skated in two on one. And I'll tell you what, Matzichuk was uh, skating in uh, cement there, trying to catch up to uh, Ed Edgerton and Chevalier on that two-on-one chance. Edgerton with a great pass to Chevalier. He went for the deflection, the bang-bang play, and it just missed the left-hand pipe. Manny Fernandez was well out of position because Edgerton held that puck right until you got to make that pass. He made it at the perfect spot, but Chevalier just could not tip it. He almost had the hat trick there. He came within inches of the hat. Here's the draw now, controlled by Kalamazoo. Travis Richards, skates behind his own net. Picks up the keys, he gets over the line, then he's held up by Vashon. Penalty will be coming up on the Roadrunners. Nicholas Vashon for hooking. Richards trying to get around Vashon and head up the ice on the left wing. Vash slowed him down with the stick, and he'll be called for hooking at the 2.45 mark of the period. Now this you don't need. You don't want to give the K-Wings any opportunity to get back into the game. And they're going to have the power play right here. But uh, obviously from the score, which shows that big fat zero, they haven't had any success with that power play tonight. And uh, the Roadrunners do not want to give the K-Wings any opportunity, any glimpse of hope, as uh, we've seen many times this year, Bob, when the uh, Roadrunners get a, a, a sizable lead. They tend to have some lapses of concentration, especially especially the goaltending. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Nick Reynolds, Bilesma, Wilson, and Levine, the four Phoenix penalty killers as they get back underway. Back down to the box, two for hooking at 245. And Kalamazoo starting on the power play. Puck knocked away along the left boards by Bilesma, but he can't keep possession. Wings coming back. Travis Richards gets to the runner's line, drives it off the end board. Puck floats free along the near side. Herter keeps it in. He'll send it behind the net. Down the left corner, up from the left point is Richards to tap it to the left of the net. Knocked away by Byron Defoe. Buck loose behind the goal. Now trying to play it is Levine. Trying to steal for Kalamazoo as needed. Staying with him, however, is Levine. And also there for the Roadrunners, Bilesman. Buck knocked away from Needham, but kept in left point by Richards. Gets it to Needham again. He'll shoot behind the net. Played in the right corner by Herter. 
And then the puck is cleared by the roadrunner, Steve Wilson, from the right of the net, way into the stands, right in front of us. And we get the stoppage, and we'll take a timeout. 16.25 left in the third period. 5 nothing Roadrunners will be back after these words. During the season, the Roadrunners' travel schedule is hectic. They could be in San Diego one night, Houston the next, and then on to Atlanta. It's crucial for their travel arrangements to be made correctly so that the players and equipment are sure to arrive on time for every game. That's why the Roadrunners rely on Admiral Travel for all of their travel needs. Courteous and dependable, Admiral Travel can handle all arrangements for your next business trip or vacation, saving you time and aggravation. So do what the Roadrunners do. Call Ruby White at 252-6300 and let Admiral Travel take care of all your travel needs. Bob Heathouse with Bruce Jacobs back in the Coliseum. 5-0 Phoenix, early third period. Kalamazoo on the power play for another 55 seconds as they come in over the line offside in the roadrunner zone yeah, it's getting a little dangerous to be sitting in these stands nowadays bob you gotta you gotta keep your eye on that ice since the lady down here in the brown she hasn't moved that fast in about 40 years i mean she just jumped out of a chair but i think her husband next to her wearing that phoenix suns cap caught that puck and that was a rifle and that was a nice catch well, you always have to watch for the puck when you come to the hockey game. They already had one unfortunate gentleman get in tonight. He's back, by the way. He is back. He's well, that's back. good to see. Off the faceoff, puck shot, deep into the Kalamazoo zone. Back to get it for the wings is Herder. Make that Matt Pachuk. He turns it over. Right side for Shuchuk, but then Matt Pachuk gets it back. Gives it. Center ice to Marshall. Now tip pass on the right side into the roadrunner zone. Derek Smith checked along the way. Trying to get free from the check. Now does have the puck in front. Shoot. Hit score. Derek Smith was checked along the right boards. He got away from that check. Went to the slot. Took the pass and flipped it by default. Kalamazoo scores on the power play. To get on the board, it's 5-1. It's a heck of a pass by Grant Marshall, too, to find Smith. And Smith, what he did was he almost he outskated Byron Defoe going to Smith's left to Poe's right and he was looking for some room and uh, he finally got a little nudge, a little crease on the and was able to slide the puck right along the ice low and Byron DePoe's shutout broken after uh, 44 minutes and 18 seconds. Good pass though by Grant Marshall from the back of the net in front to Smith who uh, found the opening and the K-Wings get on the board. It's a power play goal, Bob. And you got to watch out here because the Roadrunners, as I mentioned, sometimes have that propensity to let down a little bit and let a little hockey team back in the game. Derek Smith gets his team leading 26 of the year from Marshall and McCrory. On the power play. And that uh, puts Kalamazoo on the board. 418 the time on that goal by Derek Smith of this third period. And it's a 5-1 hockey game. Now the puck is uh, tipped out of play again. On a, another deflection high over the head of Defoe as we got back to live action. And we'll take this time to tell you that this weekend, Tripty Car Rental in the Valley wants you to get outdoors in the Dodge Caravan minivan. And at these low rates, you'll be taking it all in without selling it all out. Tripty has 10 convenient locations in the Valley to serve you. And to make your reservation, simply call 244-0311. Thrifty Car Rental is the official provider of rental cars and trucks for the Phoenix Roadrunners Hockey Club. 14.59 left here in the third period, and the Roadrunners, once again, no shots on goal in that first uh, five minutes. They need to stay on the attack and uh, try to uh, score a couple more goals. Don't sit back and sit on this lead. That's not the way to win hockey games. Kalamazoo with the puck in its own end as we get back to live action. Jason Herter avoids the oncoming Nicholas Bashan. Sends it to the runner's line where Levine knocks it away. Now in the neutralized area, Bilesner finds Tomlinson on the right wing. Has Bashan going to the net. Here's the pass for Bashan. But he couldn't get that pass and get a shot on goal as the puck slides wide into the left corner. Kalamazoo gets the puck back and now heads up the left side. Mark Peterson gets over the center right line. Shoots it in behind the runner's net. Playing it there for Phoenix is Brian Straub. Straub ahead to Vashon. Trying to tip it to Bilesman. Knocked away briefly by Kalamazoo's McCrory. Now the puck loose in the neutralized area. Peacock sends left wing intended for Smith. Intercepted by the roadrunner's Levine. And he's given a rough ride against the end boards by Marshall. Meanwhile, the puck ends up on the ice against the 
near boards with a player on top of it. And we get the stoppage. Well, fans, if you're tuning in uh, looking for the University of Arizona basketball game, we'll be joining that game in progress following our game here in the Coliseum tonight. We have 13.59 left in the third period. It's a 5-1 Roadrunners lead. So as soon as the runners are over, we'll uh, send it up to Seattle for the game between the Arizona Wildcats and the Washington Huskies. And ASU lost today to uh, Washington State. So it looks like uh, Arizona, no matter what, will finish in second place in the Pac-10. And uh, UCLA is going to get the number one seed, Bob. They are a great basketball team. Edgerton on the faceoff against McCrory. Puck sent around the boards and out of the Phoenix zone. McCrory now races after it at center ice. Turns it over to Chevalier. He'll backhand one to the right of Danny Fernandez. Fernandez able to play the puck in the wing. Attempt to clear it out. It's sent ahead by Marshall to center ice. Played by Cowie and driven right back in. Now behind the net, Matt Pachuk is checked by Chuchuk. Puck squirts free along the far board. Coming up with it, McCrory for Kalamazoo. Sending the center ice to Peacock. He gives it to Marshall, and as Marshall and Peacock come over the line, they get the offside called on Kalamazoo. Boy, the K-Wings are really throwing the body around. Jason Marshall knocked Eric Levine down. It's not an easy chore to knock down Eric Levine as big as he is. Go back to that Pac-10. You know, Bob, I know you keep track of these things because you respect my, my uh, fearless predictions, but I have picked UCLA to win it all this year. What do you give me that face for? because that's a pretty good pick. I mean, they're ranked number one, and they certainly have as much talent as anybody. So not you know, quite as much going on on the limb as that San Diego Chargers uh, Super Bowl appearance. Who's but the biggest choke in college basketball than UCLA? I'm not sure, but I'm worried about the Roadrunners right now. Okay. Yannick Perot on the right side, coming up the ice, in over the line. Passing off for Nedimanski. He'll get the shot, saved by Fernandez. Rebound knocked away. And the puck played by the Kalamazoo wing. Now the wing spirit to center right. Here's Bauer. Leading the three on two rush over the line. Drops it off. Shot. Deflected away. As Pat Murray got the shot off. And the rebound loose behind the net. In the right corner. Here's a centering pass just out of the reach of Dennis Smith. Puck now loose and picked off by Yannick Perot. Here's Perot racing up the left wing. Over the line. Drops it off to Nedimanski. Rifles a shot on goal. And getting his arm up is Fernandez to get a piece of it. In the left corner. Loose puck played by the K-Wings. And it's cleared out by the defenseman Colin Bauer in the neutral ice area. Bauer races up to play it. Taps it on the right side to Neil Brady. Here's Brady into the right corner. Trying to center the puck. Intercepted by Rob Brown. He'll come the other way. Brown hits it to Perot. Now it is Rob Brown as Brown is sent down in the right corner. Penalty coming up on Kalamazoo's Jason Herter. Herter made contact with Brown and Brown he threw his arm and stick up and dramatically went to the ice and he may have uh, fooled Wayne Angus a little bit, or at least made Angus take the bait. Penalty called up on Kalamazoo's Jason Herter. Runners going on the power play. I don't think there's any question that Herter put the stick on Brownie, but uh, he hasn't been out around as long as Rob Brown has and hasn't learned a few tricks. And he spun around like he was shot. And uh, Herter got the stick up, but believe me, it wasn't as dramatic as it looked, but it was effective. And uh, sometimes, you know, what is that fan over there holding up a nine on a ten scale over there? <laughs> I'd, give, I'd give it about a nine or a nine and a half. Good play by Rob Brown. And, you know, once you get that stick up, Bob, you're susceptible to being called for a penalty. And if you can make it look like, uh, you know, like you would just, like, mangled, then uh, the referee, and in that case, Angus, he had no, ch no choice but to call a penalty on that one. Jason Herter, two minutes for tripping. It's 7.47. Phoenix with a 5-1 lead going on the power play. The runners won for three. A one for four, I should say, on the power play tonight. And as soon as the puck is stopped, we get the whistle. We'll set the players up again and get the face off for a second time. Gary Suchuk steps in for Phoenix to take the draw. And he takes the face off against Neil Brady. Runners control the draw. Chevalier against the right board. Sends it in behind the Kalamazoo net. Tapped by Bauer to the far side. Intercepted and then... The runners can't keep it in at the right point as Chapman reaches but cannot come up with a puck. Now he goes back into his own end to get it. Sends it past the outstretched stick of Cowie. Now it's tapped ahead back to the Kalamazoo line. And the wings get it back and will try to waste some time on the penalty against Jason Herter. Colin Bauer back in his own left circle to Richard Matpachuk. And as the runners get close, Matpachuk drives one the length of the ice. 
40 seconds gone in the Herder penalty. Seven and a half minutes to go, third period, five to one Roadrunner. Here's a shot by Edgerton now, sent deep into the Kalamazoo end, intercepted by the wings and cleared back to the Roadrunner side slot. Chapman will get it, back pedals behind his own net. Now looks on the left wing and passes off to Rob Cowie. Cowie drops it back to Chapman. Chapman again to Cowie at center ice on the left wing. Right wing pass into the wing zone for Chevalier. Can't play it cleanly. Now it is played in the right circle by Perot. Sends it behind the net for Suchuk. He bumps shoulders with Richard. And then Richard grabs it from behind. There's a penalty. Travis Richards with a heavy hit from behind on Gary Suchuk, who right now is uh, getting into Richard's face. Chuchuk, out of it, don't Chuchuk uh, is not retaliating. And then Chevalier came in. And luckily he's ushered away because the Roadrunners are going to have a two-man advantage here for 44 seconds. Yeah, they're going to have a two-man advantage. Chevalier's got to, he's just got to clear the deck there. Stay away because with this two-man advantage, you can essentially put this hockey game, you can end this game right now. Wait a second now. It's going to be a major on Richard. They're checking from behind. Wow. They're sending Richards to the dressing room. And this will really change the complexion of things. A five-minute major on Travis Richards as he really belted Gary Chuchuk from behind in the Kalamazoo right corner. Richards is going to the dressing room. The Roadrunners will have a two-man advantage for 44 seconds. And then a five-on-four power play for four minutes and 16 seconds after that. They can score as many goals as possible without having the wings replace to penalize Richards on the ice. Wow, what a dumb play by Richards. And I'll tell you what, Chuchuk got right back up and after Chevalier got in Richards' face, it was Chuchuk who ushered Chevalier away, knowing his team was going to be up two men. I didn't think he knew he was going to be up by uh, have a five-minute advantage. And this is really a golden opportunity to put this baby away right here and right now. And, you notice how Robbie Laird has used that second line of Edgerton, Chevalier, and Chuchuk almost as much as he uses his uh, first line on the power play, whereas uh, the Perot brown Tomlinson line used to play like a minute and a half every two minutes of power play. Now it's almost split. Here's the draw to the left of Fernandez, and off the faceoff, Kalamazoo able to clear it the length of the ice. A big five-minute major penalty for checking from behind on defenseman Travis Richards. And the subsequent game misconduct gives the Roadrunners a big, big advantage here to try to really open it up. They lead it 5-1. They're skating 5-on-3 for now another 23 seconds as Cowie sets up in the neutral zone. Right side to Brown over the line. In the spot to Perot. Yannick shoots. Save Fernandez. And the rebound comes away to Kalamazoo's Garrett Smith. He'll bring it to center right. Smith in over the line. Takes a shot. Walker save. Byron Defoe. Penalty about over on Jason Herter. And it'll be a one-man Roadrunner's advantage for 419. And now Herter's on the box. Here comes Brown over the line to Tomlinson. Shot. Goal! What a pass. Rob Brown setting up the captain, Dave Tomlinson, in front of the Kalamazoo net. And Tomlinson fires it by Fernandez. The Roadrunners have scored. And they still have four minutes and 12 seconds left on the power play because the Wings cannot replace the penalized Richards with a five-minute major. Oh, what a pass by Robbie Brown. He comes in the zone on the right-hand side and at the last moment shovels the puck over to Tomlinson. Fernandez is playing Robbie Brown as he should be, and that's, that's what makes a great pass. It's not how you pass it all the time, but it's when you pass it, and Robbie Brown made that pass at the last moment, and Tomlinson had a wide open net. And, uh, the Roadrunners was just about have this one iced away, even with 10 minutes to go. Still four minutes of uh, power play time. And the good thing is, is that they attack, because a lot of times teams will have that five minute advantage, and they'll sit back and they'll wait, thinking they have plenty of time. You don't want to do that. Very rarely will you see a team with a five minute advantage score, you know, multiple goals. But the Roadrunners is right on the attack the way they have to be. And Robbie Brown just continues to amass uh, a maze with his pinpoint point passer. Yannick Perot will also get an assist. Here's a chance, meanwhile, as we look back on the ice for Chapman. And his shot is fired on that and a pad save by Fernandez. Rebound now loose behind the Kalamazoo net. By the way, that was goal number 21 for Tomlinson and his 12th power play goal of the year. Brown and Perot, the assist at 9.51. Kalamazoo able to clear that puck back to the Roadrunners' blue line. 
Churchill, 320 left in the five minute major on Kalamazoo's Travis Richards. We're checking from behind. Up loose in the Kalamazoo end, top of the right circle. Edgerton sends cross ice to Chapman. He'll tip it behind the net, too far for two tucks. Loose puck play by Kalamazoo's McCrory. Back hands it to the right point, kept in by Straub, now knocked away. And Jeff Best able to pick it off on the left wing. Here's Best moving into the runner's zone, winding, shooting from the left circle. Saved Byron Defoe, and then he is yes, shaken up. Byron Defoe is shaken up. That puck hit him in the elbow, and he's holding his arm or his shoulder, and he really, really moved awkwardly as he uh, made the save on that shot by Best. At first, I thought he was grabbing his wrist like it caught him in the wrist cage, you know? And now it looks like the shoulder, you're right. Yeah, it's his upper arm or right shoulder, and he's being attended to now by trainer Scott Green. But Byron Defoe on that short-handed shot by Best makes the save and then awkwardly goes to the ice, and he has suffered an apparent injury to the right arm or shoulder. And as Scott Green attends to him, we're going to take a timeout. 8.50 to go. 6-1 to one Roadrunners. We'll be right back after these words. Rider truck. This guy the other day calls us to rent one of our rider trucks, says he's moving to Rome. At Rider, we try to make sure you only have to call once to find out the closest rider location, the right size truck, and all the packing gear you'll be needing. We figure moving can be a little hectic, so the one thing you don't need from us is any surprises, especially if you're driving all the way to Rome. Uh, that's Rome, New York, or Rome, Oregon, Rome, Tennessee. Call 1-800-GO-RIDER. We're there when you need us. Well, as we come back to the Coliseum, Byron Defoe is okay. He's going to stay in the game, and Eddie Bruce, uh, that puck hit him either in the upper arm or else uh, maybe on the side because Byron crumpled to the ice, favoring his right side or shoulder. Right. And it didn't appear to be a shoulder injury, so that puck either hit him in the upper arm or else right on the side. How about one of those bones that's just like numb? You know, you go numb all of a sudden. Maybe that was it too because I, I can't remember a time when a goalie got hit in the shoulder with a shot and uh, crumpled down like Byron did. That was a rifle, first off. That was a great shot. But I, I got to believe it hit one of those bones and just numbed him for a second. And off the face-off, the wings don't waste any time in testing the foe following his little injury. They get a shot on goal, and Byron knocks it away. 2.43 left in the Roadrunners power play. Eight and a half minutes to play in the game. Six to one, Phoenix. Roadrunners have led it all the way. They built up a five-nothing lead, and as Kalamazoo then scored early in the third period, Phoenix answered on the power play just recently on the goal at 9.51 by Dave Tomlinson to build the 6-1 advantage. Puck in the Roadrunners end. Wilson with it to Cowie. Now Cowie sends it back in his own left corner, played off the boards by Steve Wilson. Wilson head manning to Nedimansky. Right wing pass to Bilesma. Behind the back pass for Vashon. Skips out of play. And we get the stoppage, and now it's time. For our St. Joseph's Center for Sports Medicine, health tip of the night. Uh, if you're suffering from skin splints, be sure to stretch out both your upper and lower calf muscles well before each workout. You might also try cross-training with an alternate activity that does not place as much strain on your shin. And arch support in your shoe may also help. Call St. Joseph's Center for Sports Medicine at 406 3770 for more information. And Bruce, I'm no, no sorry. No uh, tips for Byron and no health tips for your stuffed up uh, nasal passages either. Now, I'll tell you what, Bob, you're going to have to come up with some more of those. Now the Roadrunners on the attack in the Kalamazoo zone. Just under two minutes now left in that five-minute major penalty to Kalamazoo's Travis Richards. Phoenix has scored once on this power play, trying to add to that. Straub to the right point to Rob Brown. Brown with two assists tonight. He's Johnny Perot. He shot right on St. Fernandez. And Fernandez covers up. We get the stoppage, and let's take a quick break here. 7.38 to go, 6-1 to Phoenix. We'll be back after this timeout. Hi, I'm Tim Waters, player and assistant coach for the Phoenix Roadrunners. After 13 years as a pro hockey player, I know that good health care is essential. The Roadrunner players know that they receive the best care possible from the team dentist, Drs. Larry Emmett and Ron Fawaldi at Dental Associates. 
They provide complete dentistry featuring the most up-to-date methods of reconstruction and cosmetic treatment. The doctors and staff are always available when we need them. I would recommend them to anyone. If they can keep a veteran hockey player like me smiling, imagine what they can do for you. Dental Associates, 279-1641. Yannick Perot faces off against Bauer to the left of Fernandez. Puck controlled by Phoenix. Top of the right circle goes to Rob Brown. Brown now still with a puck. Sends right corner Perot. Centers in front for Tomlinson who made a slice at the puck. But it just hopped over a stick. Now Tomlinson goes down in front of the net. Puck loose to the right of the goal meanwhile. And Fernandez goes down to scoop it up. And he gets the whistle and holds on with a minute 23 left in the Roadrunners power play. Oh, the agony and the ecstasy of being the man in front there for uh, Tomlinson. First, the puck bounces over his stick. He almost has his second goal tonight. Then, right after that, Colin Bauer just absolutely checked him. And Tomlinson went down on his teeth there. The agony and the ecstasy of being the man who has to sit in front of the net. I'll tell you, that's, that's got to be one of the toughest jobs in hockey, no question about it, because you're getting pounded. Perot wins the draw. Quick shot by Rob Brown just wide. Now on the near board, Perot dives after the puck. The wings get it and clear it out. But now 110 left in the Phoenix power play. Chapman retrieves to Tomlinson, left side, over the line. Lost control of it. Loose puck played by the wings. Cleared by Derek Smith, back to center right. Ryan Chapman plays it there. Shoots it hard. Around the boards in behind the net. Puck slowed up, however, played behind the goal by Fernandez. Here in the far corner to Neil Brady. He'll get it out. And the puck now comes up the ice. Up the left side for the wings. Moving into the runner's zone is Derek Smith. Hands off to Matt Bichuk. Now his centering pass knocked away. 40 seconds left in the penalty. Mike Needham keeps it in in the roadrunner's zone for Kalamazoo. He sends into the right corner where it's picked off by Ryan Chapman. Chapman ahead to Perot. Now to Gary Tuchuk. Tuchuk over the line. Tuchuk right circle the ball. Driving one in the save. Made by Fernandez, and the rebound cleared the length of the ice. 20 seconds left in the Roadrunners' five-minute major penalty. They've scored one, and maybe more importantly, five minutes have been lopped off the clock as Phoenix maintains its big lead, 6-1. to one. Wings again able to clear it out of their own end as the penalty about to end on Richard. And Jeff Beth serving it now comes out of the box, so... Kalamazoo is finally back to full strength. They yield one power play goal, and it's 6-1 to one Roadrunners with 5.49 to play. On the right side in the Kalamazoo zone, the Roadrunners are trying to pressure. Chevalier tied up by Dennis Smith. Puck comes free to the right of the net, and it's scooped up there by Manny Fernandez, and he holds on. That was a good job of penalty killing by the K-Wings. They give up the power play goal early, right after the two-man advantage was wiped out, and after that, uh, Phoenix really didn't pressure too much except for the boarded chance by Tomlinson when he was in front of the had the wide open net but missed the backhand because the puck bounced over his stick. But got to give the K-Wings credit, Bob. They're still playing hard even though they're down by five goals. And they did a great job of killing off that uh, major penalty. Face off to the left of Fernandez. Kalamazoo out shooting the Roadrunners. 32-28 tonight. On the scoreboard, it's all Phoenix, 6-1. Here's the draw. Puck loose along the right board. Chevalier sliding to the ice on top of the puck. It comes free, and the wings are able to gain control and come back with it. Mike Needham on the left side, over the line. Now back for Needham in the slot. His shot attempt is knocked away by Gary Tuchuk. Tuchuk beats Chevalier in the right wing. Chevalier trying to get around Bauer. Bauer with a good defensive play to not let Chevalier get around him, and the play is broken up, and back comes Kalamazoo. Neil Brady on the rush. Brady stood up by Levine as he gets in over the line on the right wing. Back at center right, loose puck played by Kalamazoo, Shane Peacock. Peacock then sends it ahead to the runner's line where it's played by Levine. Five minutes exactly left in this one. Six to one, Phoenix maintaining the lead. A-Wing pick up the puck again. Here's Derek Smith going to the net. Checked from behind by Zashon. Loose puck cleared by Byron Defoe by everybody back into the Kalamazoo end. Wings go back to retrieve it. Scott McCrory tipping it to Derek Smith. He owns the only Kalamazoo goal tonight. Here's Smith standing in behind the net, trying to send it out in front for the wings with McCrory, but it's intercepted by Chapman. Chapman to center ice to Brian McReynolds, and he'll shoot it cross ice into the Kalamazoo left corner. James Peacock to play it there. Peacock shoots it ahead to the neutral zone. Matt Pachuk tips it on the right side to Jeff Pett. Now to Matt Pachuk. He couldn't get a handle on it. Cleared by Chapman, not out. Kept in by Robin Bauer. Skating to the left of the Roadrunners goal. 
stolen behind the net. Now it's tipped out in front. Iron Defoe pounces on it, holds on. We'll get a stoppage and we'll take a break with 4.08 remaining. Six to one, the Roadrunners in the lead. Stay tuned, we'll be back after these words. minutes now exactly left to play as the wings go to work in the roadrunner zone. Here's a pass right to the goal mouth by Bauer. A tied up in front for Kalamazoo. Was Murray couldn't get it. Runners coming back. Danimanski for Perot and he couldn't get the shot off. Puck loose in the left corner. Rob Brown battling Matsuchuk for it. Also helping out Danimanski for the roadrunners. Rock continues to run. Three and a half minutes remaining. Still loose to the left of the net in front, trying to center it to Brown with Perot, and then Brown is buried by the wing Jeff Betts, and back come Kalamazoo. Puck shot in behind the roadrunner's net. Out of his goal to play it is Byron Defoe. Gives it on the near side to Nenemanski. He'll hit Brown at the Kalamazoo line. Brown right side to Perot. Perot shot right on. St. Fernandez. Rebound flips into the left corner. Played by Kalamazoo Brady, and then he hands it off. To Bauer, up to center ice now over the line comes Peterson, dropping it to Brady. Reef shot, and getting a piece of it is Byron Defoe with his left arm to tip it over his head behind it. Runners come back quickly. Rob Brown on the left side, shoots it in off the end board. Laid by the Kalamazoo defender, Shane Peacock. 2.45 to play in the third period. Runners up by five, six to one over the Kalamazoo wing. And the wings, Mike Needham now shoots it in behind the Roadrunners net. Back to get it for the Phoenix Road Runners is Wilson. To center ice, he gives it to Shuchuk. Now to Devin Edgerton. He gets in over the Kalamazoo line, but had it knocked away. Puck loose in the wing, tie slot. McCrory falls down and is tapped out of there by Dennis Smith. Now at center ice, we get the stoppage, another two-zone pass, and we'll take a timeout. 2.22 left in the game, 6-1 Phoenix. We'll be right back after these words. If you're in the market for a used vehicle, Sunset Ford has the largest inventory of quality used cars and trucks in the Northwest Valley, including some of Sun City's finest trades. Come by Sunset Ford and register for a chance to play Spin to Win at an upcoming Roadrunner hockey game. Sunset Ford, proud sponsor of the Phoenix Roadrunners, 91st Avenue and West Bell Road. Making sure you satisfied. Sunset Ford. As we come back to the Coliseum, a delayed penalty is coming up on Kalamazoo. And it's touched in the neutral zone. We'll get the whistle. Jeff Chevalier is down in the Roadrunner zone. Gets back up now. And there's words in the right corner. It was like Bawa over there. Yeah, Robert Bawa is involved for Kalamazoo. Ryan Chapman's having some words. Also, Eric Levine is there for the Roadrunners. Penalty's going to be on Bawa. And with 2.09 left, Bauer being sent off. Could it be another major? It's either a major or else uh, a misconduct. A minor and a misconduct to Robin Bauer with 2.09 to play, and the Roadrunners up 6 to 1. It appears that uh, Phoenix will skate out the end of the game. Primarily on the power play. And Bob Alvin think that Bland Angus, the referee, wants to just maintain the peace here for the last 209, just get this game over with without any incidents. So he gave a two-minute penalty to Bawa, and he probably gave him a 10-minute misconduct. Bawa said, you're nuts, or something along that line. And uh, you can see how a game like this, you know, in the last two minutes, one team frustrated, that would be the K-Wing. Things could get out of hand a little bit, so uh, just send the guy off. Let's get the game over with before anything stupid happens. Two minutes for flashing to Bauer, and then a 10-minute misconduct at 17.51. Phoenix going back on the power play. The Roadrunners are 2 for 6 on the power play tonight. And they are on the verge of picking up the win and splitting the two-game home weekend series. They lead it 6 to 1. Off the faceoff, the puck shot into the right of Byron Defoe. 
What a game he's played. Coming back in his first start since being reassigned from the Washington Capitals earlier this week. So far, Byron Defoe with 32 saves. Meanwhile, the runners on the power play trying for perhaps one more goal. Chevalier out there looking for the hat trick. Sweeps one to the right of the net. But it's stopped by Fernandez in the wing sphere at the length of the ice. Ryan Staub comes up with it to center. Had his pocket picked by Scott McCrory. McCrory over the Roadrunners line, but he's quickly tied up by Chapman. Puck turned back over the Roadrunners, and Tuchuk comes up with it. Tuchuk over the line now to Rob Brown. Here's the shot. Blocked in the spot by Colin Bauer, and Brown is shaken up. He goes down in the left circle. Gets up feeling his nose. Meanwhile, the wings clear the puck back into the Roadrunners' end. One minute now remaining in the hockey game as the puck is cleared back on the Roadrunners' goal. Defoe stops it up, leaves it behind the net to Chapman. Ryan Chapman with 55 seconds. Sends it on the left wing for Chevalier. Now Brown plays it instead. Over the line to Perot. Roadrunners are going to be called for the offside here with 49 seconds left, and we'll take our final 30-second break. 6-1 Roadrunners. Late in the third period, we'll be back after these words. The latest in hockey fashions are at the Phoenix Roadrunners Team Shop, located at 1826 West McDowell Road, just east of 19th Avenue. The Runners Team Shop features new, officially licensed merchandise from the Roadrunners, the IHL, and your favorite NHL team. Also check out the new children's wear section. Team Shop hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday hours when the runners are at home are 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Phoenix Roadrunners! 49 seconds left in this one, and the runners lead at 6-1 over Kalamazoo. Face off in the neutral zone, controlled by Phoenix. Ryan Chapman shoots it hard behind the net. Buck hops out into the right circle. Loose puck played by Perot in front for Brown. He took a swipe at it, but didn't come up with it. And the puck floats free along the near board. Half a minute to go. At the left point, shot by Chapman. Rebound, Chevalier scores! Jeff Chevalier with the hat trick for Phoenix. Oh, that's a good icing on this uh, fine tasting cake, Bob. Chevalier with five goals now in his last two games. He just picked up the rebound, the garbage in front of the net, and put it right in the can, and there was no doubt about it. And the goal comes with 29 seconds remaining. 1931 officially, Jeff Chevalier. Getting his third goal of the night, his fifth in two games, his 24th of the year. Chapman will pick up one assist, and now Rob Brown is being escorted out. He was knocked down in the Kalamazoo zone a couple of times. I'm not sure what he did after that goal, but he's being given some sort of a penalty, perhaps a misconduct. In any event, the Roadrunners have the 7-1 lead as Chevalier... Puts a uh, nice, nice icing on what is going to be a Roadrunners victory cake here in the Coliseum tonight. And linesman come to pick up the hat. Well, that changed awfully fast, huh? Three stars. Yeah, they had Byron Defoe as the number one star, but now Jeff Chevalier. You know what I'm thinking, Bob? If I come to a hockey game with a nice cap, you know, caps are on cheap. You know, they're like 12, 15 bucks. When I throw it on the ice, if my team, if a player on the team that I rooted for, I don't think so, personally. That's because I'm kind of cheap that way, you know. But uh, I'll tell you what, Javalier's got to score, uh, feel awfully good. Five goals in the last two games. I think the thing I'm most impressed with is the fact that the Roadrunners never were in doubt of winning this hockey game in the third period. They never let up, and they never let the K-Wings back in. Final 15 seconds now, kicking down in the Coliseum. 7-1 Roadrunners. Up shot deep into the Kalamazoo left corner. Back to get it, Jason Herter behind the net. Seven seconds left, 10 far corner. Now as it banks off the board, that'll do it. The hockey game is over. The Roadrunners take out to a 5-0 lead after two periods and then go on to the 7-1 victory here against the Kalamazoo Wings. Bruce Jacobs, your thoughts about this hockey game? I thought Robbie Ladd won this game tonight, Bob, with that timeout. We've talked about it before, but you know, it is the focal point of this game. At the 6.20 mark of the second period, his role is being dominated. He called the timeout. Penalty on Needham. Ten seconds after that, and from that point on...